Sorry, took me a minute to get started. Uh, bring me the horizon. I saw they just put out a new music video, so I was like, yeah, I gotta, <laughs> gotta watch that before, <laughs> before I actually get started, started here. So anyways, it's fine. Hopefully today we'll actually be able to like play for a bit and not just die. Um, part way through, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see though. Fingers crossed on that part, because I really do want to finish this game. That would be fantastic. I see a couple of chests. I see a lot of chests, actually. Holy hell, okay. Um, did we... Did we finish the town, actually, before we got off last time? I think we did. We just had to, like, run around and talk to people, do all, like, the events or something like that. That might be why there's, like, so many freaking chests thrown around all over the place. A fruit of Eden, too. All kinds of good stuff, dude. Uh, <laughs> see what the hell else we got going on here. We probably have events still. Can we get stuff from these trees? There's definitely some fruit or something growing up there. Up at the top. I remember, I think our inventory was kind of getting full last time, too. I think that might have been a problem that we were... I wouldn't say dealing with, kind of, <laughs> kind of ignoring, if nothing else. Okay, there's two more chests over here, bro. There are chests everywhere. I think we're on the last floor, though. I think, I think next floor is like boss floor. I want to say. So I think it's a good time to run around and grab all this stuff. I guess we could have checked first, but screw it. You're awake, hello, sir. But not sure for how long. I feel that. I was so tempted to lay down and take a nap before starting the stream today but like that's been my problem why i haven't been streaming I, just because like i've been so freaking exhausted for some reason i'm working on i'm working on it you know <laughs> but i'm just so exhausted every day that i end up taking a nap before i start stream and then i just don't get up like i have an alarm set but i just either sleep through it or in my sleepy state just turn it off and go back to bed or whatever and it's like bruh just dying a little bit but it's fine everything's everything's great is that all of the chests there was a bunch there's probably some inside the different houses too but i don't really feel like going inside every single house to search them right now just to be honest okay i think that's all of the ones that are like outside at least we must have the fast time turned on because holy hell man this is swapping times a day like crazy Okay, yeah, that's all I'm seeing. All right, uh, go to options real quick, cause time progress normal. I'd really like if it didn't keep doing that. And then let's go into the diorama menu here and see. Yeah, okay. So we have everything unlocked. There's some people we need to talk to in an event or two that we need to do. So we need to go to the chief's house. I think it tells us whenever we hover. Yeah, chief, 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 chief. You're the chief. Okay. Where's the entrance? Here we go. You have an event for us, sir. I'm assuming you give us something, maybe? To get into the last floor? To see the, the dude? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, there's definitely stuff in your house. All kinds of goodies laying about. Hello, chief. Seem to be sneaking around everywhere lately. Who are you, anyway? I don't know if we've ever met the chief of the town before. What? You want to take out the moon ship from the temple? Whose permission do you have to do such a thing? Uh, the moon people. The temple is a sacred place that we, desert people, and the moon people have maintained together. A very noble king named Bimilumba Homolumba rests there. You can't give a signet to just anybody. You'd best come back some other time. I'm assuming that he's either been corrupted by the genie, or we're going to be like put to the test by the dude before we can... Take the moon ship thingy. Oh, is that you, Ungaga? Ungaga. Stream is someone we can trust. He saved Makara and others. Stream can defeat the Dark Genie. Yee. <laughs> is that so? Well, since it's coming from Ungaga, I have no doubt. Well, there's... where shall I start first? How to conquer the Sun and Moon Temple. 
Listen carefully. To reach the last room where the moonship is stored, you must enter through the king's room. Is it just me or did the font like change out of nowhere, man? Like it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as crisp. It is weird. To enter the king's room, you need two signets. One is the sun signet handed down by the Chisamu Skalaka. The other is the moon signet. The moon people who maintain the shrine are supposed to have it. But that's not the case anymore. The lazy moon people entrusted us with the moon signet so they can relax in the woods. So I've heard. Meaning that the two signets are both here in Muscalaska. Unfortunately, they aren't here. Zabo and Enga ha each have one. I'll tell them about you so you can get the signets from them. Anyway, good luck to you. Oh, wait a minute. A boy in a green hat. Say, those eyes are yours. You have beautiful eyes. I knew another man with those same sparkling eyes. Yeah, my dad or whoever came through here one time. When I was young, he was the only man who could be me. He was handsome, but that was more than 20 years ago. But here I am going on and on. Young man, be strong like he was. Excuse me, I would like to plunder your stuff. Pocket? Does pocket give us more item space? Is it something we have to use? Allows carrying more items. Why wouldn't it just apply? <laughs> like, automatically. That's so weird. Whatever. Uh, Ruby's food. We can go ahead and give that to her. It's no good for anybody else. Fish food. That's good for Zhao. And what are these? Grass cake? Goro's favorite. Bruh, thank god. Goro needs some more defense. Bruh's over here sitting at 19. Like, everybody else is around 40 or whatever. He's been lacking, man. Yeah, 41, 44, 44, 42, and then bro was on literally 19. Like, actual garbage. Still don't know what we need the foundation for. I don't know, like, if we missed a chest or two of his defensive item, or, like, I don't know. I have no idea. I just know that Goro freaking sucks. <laughs> like, he's, he was not good, man. The only benefit, the only good thing about Goro is that he was able to... Um, he, like, apply knockback to enemies. That's, that is it. It's all he has going for him. And we need to go to Zabo's house to finish. Okay, Zabo. I'm assuming you're over here. Yeah. Hopefully you're here and not, like, running around somewhere. Mimic breaker, chicken, power up powder? Is that just like an instant level up or whatever? I think it might be. Sadly, he's not here though, so that doesn't do us any good. Why am I not? Hold on a second. I'm not getting sounds for some reason from OBS. I had no idea that you just did that now until I saw the animation play. Monitoring device, it's here, like it's set. Apply, and then what if I just like change it and change it back? Yeah, no, I mean, it's not working for me. Like, I'm not getting sounds from OBS for some reason. It, the sounds are still being streamed, they're just not playing for me. That's all. Annoyingly. We have a board, a couple fruit of Eden. I don't think there's anybody I want to give more health to right now, though. We'll wait until we get the next character or whatever. I mean, if you want to feed Bo, by all means, go ahead. We don't have to. I don't know if it's working or not, though. I mean, Bo's probably hungry, man. When's the last time Bo's been fed? Yeah, no, nothing. Not a damn thing. I don't know why it's not... playing for me. I have... monitoring turned on for it, right? Pets, monitor, yes. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal, which is just kind of annoying, because, like, why wouldn't it work? Hey you, you're a newbie, huh? I don't recommend you become a warrior, huh? You don't agree? Well, anyways, I'm Zabo. Good to meet you. You too! Any requests for your house? I want to have a shade made of hay on top of the entrance. Same hay used for the roof of the other houses. I need a totem, too. Okay. We can do that for you easy enough. Thanks for feeding Bo, anyways. Like I said, I'm sure he was hungry, man. Totem and shade. There he goes, Abo. And then, oh god, freaking time of day. Or wait, is the event just happening because we're close? Okay. Oh, there you are. I heard it all from the chief. This is the moon signet. Don't lose it. Nice. That was easy enough. <laughs> he just gave it to us. Dope. Sun and moon temple is dangerous lately. Be careful. 
I guess that's our reward for doing things. Do you have any new stuff in your house now that we've, like, done the thing for you? No? Okay. Anything outside, maybe? Because we gave you a totem and a, and a shade, right? Those are both outside things. Mumble, mumble. What? Oh, it's you. Thanks to you, my house is back to how it was. Thanks, man. How about this view, huh? Man, I just love the view from here. It soothes your mind, doesn't it? From the beginning, I was never really a warrior. I'm better at kicking back and relaxing than fighting. But the desert people are a warrior tribe, born in the wrong place, I guess. So over this desert live the other tribe of desert people, the Scorpion Warriors. They are us sand warriors, mortal en enemy. We've been fighting each other for hundreds of years. Both our tribes have the same origin, so I wonder why we keep fighting. People are weird like that. Sorry, I got carried away just now. Please, accept this for fixing my house. Oh, he gives us, like, an actual thing, too. Double impact. Is that for Zhao? That actually sounds kind of neat. Is it any good? It's probably not better than Steve. Starts with an attack of 40, though, and an endurance of 50, speed of 60. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> and it shoots two bullets at the same time? Bro. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. Well, we found a second weapon for Zhao. What we really need is, like... I was gonna say for the main dude here. But honestly, I think I'd rather just have better stuff for... Um... Ruby, the other ranged character. Because I like the ranged characters much more than I like the melee ones. Who else? Enga. Enga, Enga, Enga. Okay, where's Enga's house? Chief Boo Boo Brook Enga. You have an event for me, apparently. And stuffs. Bunches of stuffs. Well, that was fast. I've heard from Bonka. Here. Okay, I don't think this is the actual event, though. But really, Bonka trusting an outsider like you. I wonder what she's up to. Hmm? Hmm? This <laughs> is the way they're hunched over, dude. <laughs> you good, bro? Ah, now I know. You look exactly the same as... Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to stand up to that, Jenny. Good luck to you. Well, thanks, dude. Uh, don't you have an event for me, though? Or was this the one that I had to come complete? Attachment bag is full? My attachment bag is full? Really? That's surprising. Uh, what do we have? Do we have anything we actually need? We have holy. I know holy is needed. Okay, hold on. Weapon. You. Steve. Do not status break. Customize. I think undead's another thing we need, though, isn't it? So, never mind. Nothing to give you. But, if we're gonna be using... I mean, I guess we were working on getting the steel slingshot upgraded. But, like, the other one's so much better. Times two bonus? That's pretty cool. Actually. Um... What do we need? Didn't we get, like, some undead? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Undead's something that we need. Okay. So we can put those on there, and then we're probably going to end up using the double impact. Because that seems pretty good. So we'll give you that and that. What do you have by default? Nothing. Okay. And then Metal Breaker. Metal Breaker is something we need too. There we go. Gives us a little more space. We can sell some of this stuff off. There we go. Mage Slayer. Noise. Noise. What do you need for your home? Don't forget the trendy hay roof. Forget my place will look like a piece of gourd. And of course the totem. Yeah, that seems to be like a common theme for just about everybody here. Hello! Yeah, that annoys me to no end that I can't hear the Lemme freaking thing. Whatever. Hydrate! Hydrate. Ah, got some milky tea. Is delish. Some half and half uh, Earl Grey tea. Yum, dude. <laughs> Complete the house. Or wait, no, we've already completed the house. 
Never mind. Go back in the house. <laughs> when do we? How do we get the event? Why can't I walk here? I think the other thing just took like precedent. If we leave and come right back, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hey, it's you, young one. I thank you for what you did for us. This is for you, son. I hope you'll take good care of it. A new sword, a Buster sword. This is my old sword, but it still works just fine. Back in my day, I was darn good with the thing. My days as chief, I was amazing, you know? Oh, you're the old chief? Uh, sorry, I lied a bit. I was never really strong, even when I was young. Just when I thought I would become chief, Bonka snapped up the position. I wasn't meant to be chief. But Bonka, she really was something. She defeated every warrior in the village. She was only in her teens when she defeated me and became chief. And she was such a beautiful girl, like a fighting goddess. Oops, what am I saying? Forget what I just said. Excuse me, son, but I have to end it here today. I have a backache. Something fierce. <laughs> Some of these people are just weird, bro. I almost forgot. You fixed my house, so why don't you use this house for storing your things? I'll also be more than happy to be able to help you. Thank fuck we finally got a storage area around here, dude. Um. Okay. So we already have a buster sword. But, like, I don't know... I guess we don't need two choppers, but like, items full. Move one to board by discarding or using. Like, how do you, uh, I guess I just have to throw it away. That sucks. Especially because this is literally a storage area. Like, <laughs> ah, okay, whatever. I would like to store some things, please, old man. I'd like to store all of the gold. Go ahead and sort this stuff for me too, please. We'll keep some of this other stuff. We don't need this much stand-in powder on us. That should be more than enough. Skate powder, revival powder. We'll keep the repair powder. We're always needing more of that. Probably sell those other things. We don't need that. We could sell it, but nah, I'm lazy. We're not going to be using the gourds and fruit of Eden right now. Oh. I didn't realize we had more defensive stuff to give to people. Okay, we'll have to do that too. And then weapon-wise, since we're like full full, we don't need two buster swords. Again, I don't remember what's good. Apparently we were working on base lard at some point, so we'll keep that. And then... We'll just put these in here. Sure, whatever. That gives us two slots at least. It's better than what we had, if nothing else. Apparently Gladius is what we were working on right now, though. Whatever. Uh, is that all? No. Hold on. Do we want to store any of this stuff instead of selling it? I guess we could. There's no like good reason to sell it. It's not like we're hurting for money right now. I guess I should keep one of these just in case I need them for something. I don't think we need beast. Or stone. Or sky or mimic. I don't think we need most of this stuff to be honest with you. Keep the generic ones. They're always useful in some way. There. That gives us plenty of inventory space. Or whatever random crap we might end up finding or picking up or whatever. And now, what do we have? We still have one more house to complete. The prisoner's cabin, I think. You? Is it the prisoner that we need to, like, see what they need? What do you want? This ain't a show, you know? Uh, what do you need for your home? What are you, blind? I'm a pri pry sunner, <laughs> not an interior decorator. Are you stupid or what? Put a sign in front, like the mighty Gron or Gronus Maximus. Yeah, that'll do fine. Sure. Why not? That makes perfect sense, right? Here you go. Here's your sign, Mr. Prisoner. Hope you're happy with it. Can we actually read the sign? Is it on here? No. the sign not actually exist? Is it fake? Maybe it's like hanging up top there. Can we go first person mode? It's just blank. Man, I wanted to see what it said. I was hoping it would say like Gronus Maximus or something stupid. Because <laughs> why not? So 
So it's you, that hero guy, restoring this village. Hey, don't waste your time. This world's already doomed. Okay, hold on a second. It's my upscaler. That's what's being screwy. Where is my remote for my upscaler? Behind, it's behind my TV. All the settings should be the same. Nothing should have changed, but let's do, let's try switching to buffered. That's why the, no, see, it's still the same. Why is it looking dumb? Oop. Why you like this? <laughs> I never had a problem with it being weird before like this. Whatever. I mean, it's just the text. Everything just looks a little more, like, jaggedy than normal. It's not that big of a deal. It's just weird. I don't see why it's doing it all of a sudden. You can always add scan lines. That'll look terrible on the stream, though. Go back. Do I have, like, smoothing turned on? Where Where is smoothing? It's been a while since I've gone through the settings on here. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not what we wanted. Horizontal sampling? No. Vertical? Cool. Sharp? Medium? No. It's not. Yeah, it's just something to do with, like, whatever de-interlacer it's using or whatever isn't. Yeah, whatever. He was taken hostage a year ago. He's a dangerous one. Don't get too close. See, there you go. Just locked back onto, like, the proper one. Hey, that's you, huh, Ungaga? Well, if I ever get out of this cage, you'll be dead. And I hear you are the downside these days. You are on the downside these days, you coward. And it's broke again. And it's back again. <laughs> Maybe I just need to restart my upscaler or something. Oh. Look, I was just kidding. We both know I don't stand a chance against you. What is it with you? Come on, don't get mad. You'll destroy the cell. I think he's already kind of destroyed the cell. Oh, he put it back. Do we even get anything? Oh. Huh. Lame. Just a cutscene. I was hoping we would get something for it, you know? Okay, now Toto's house. I'm thinking that's you. So you're the last person, or last house we haven't gone in. <laughs> Toto! Where are you? Are you here? Another Fruit of Eden, another Gourd, another Stonebreaker. No Toto around here, though. Lame. Okay, where are you hiding at? He's got to be around here somewhere. Is this Toto? I feel like normally they stay pretty close to their house. Yeah. Wow, who are you, bro? You just moved to this village, huh? Right on. I'm Toto. Nice to meet you. What do you need for your house? I just need to have the totem pole. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yup. Oh, shoot. I need to find your stone golem, too, I guess. To ask him, I didn't realize two people lived here. I mean, I guess that makes sense, though. You are, like, literally a child. Probably wouldn't live on your own. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, if you're here... Is this the stone golem? Yeah! Hello, sir. Go see Gosuke see you for the first time. But I think I saw you before. Uh, I didn't mean to click that. What do you need for your home? Gosuke needs a knob. Need it for Toto's house. Needs a knob? handle. Where could this handle go? Where could this handle go? Oh. <laughs> it goes literally just on top of the jar. Okay, sure. Why not, man? That makes perfect sense, right? Hope. Hi, something's wrong with Gosuke. Gosuke doesn't move that much anymore. Hi, Gosuke. You scared me. Come on, get up. Toto, it's time to say goodbye. Gosuke's mission shall now begin. Well, what you saying? What do you mean, say goodbye? We've always told each other we'd be together forever. Friends forever, right? Bruh, why? <laughs> why? Why's the dude gotta go? Gosuke is Toto's friend? Well, yeah, we're friends forever. Gosuke is Toto's friend, but Gosuke is not hum human. Inside Gosuke is a magical treasure. It's the power that keeps me moving. Gosuke's task is to protect the treasure. Last tack is to pass on the treasure. 
what? We're each other's only friend. I can't let you go. No, I won't let you. Gosuke had a friend long ago, another friend. He created Gosuke. Gosuke promised him, promised to protect this treasure until the time when a special person arrives to get it. Gosuke keeps his promises. Don't do that. You're all I have, Gosuke. You are the only friend I have. No, don't leave. Bruh, this... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Why you gotta do this game? In the next life, I will become human. Then I will stay as Toto's friend forever. Gosuke promise. Gosuke keeps promises. Toto friend, always Gosuke's friend. Gosuke keeps promises. Toto, always friend. Bruh, that's fucking... Wow. <laughs> Rude game. Jesus Christ, man. What is that, a sword? That treasure must be yours. Hurry up, take it. It was Gosuke's last act. I kind of feel like you should keep it, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like, holy shit. I'm just... Huh. The sun sword acquired. I don't know if we need this sword for anything, but like, hey, you're gonna beat that thing with the Gosuke's treasure, right? You have to beat it. You have to. Is it any good at least? <laughs> it's, imagine if it just fucking sucks, dude. Thunder, attack of 50, endurance of 40, speed of 60, MP of 30. Okay. Yeah, it's up there. Because, like, if we compare it to the Wise Owl Sword and the Serpent Sword, the other special ones we've got, it's a fair bit better than them. So it is, like, comparatively really good, at least, but still. I'd rather Gosuke just not die. <laughs> like, we didn't need it that bad, man. <laughs> Holy hell. We still have Zhao. Like, Zhao would do everything we need. She can handle all this shit by herself. Well, except for those stupid floors where we can't use her. When the game just wants to hate us for whatever reason. But I guess that's everything to do in town. Unless we want to like go sell or buy anything. We have food though. We have drink. I mean, we don't need like all these bombs and things that we have. Which one is the shop? I always forget. Is it Brooke? It's not the three sisters. I know that much. Maybe it's Brooke's house. Can't even remember if it's a dude or what that that sells us stuff. Yes, you. Uh, can I buy some items? It's more like, will you buy these items from me? I'd like to sell the amulets. Uh, so cheese. We don't really need cheese. I have a bunch of bombs I could go pick up. The bombs are pretty handy for the dealing with bosses thing. It's not a terrible idea. But let's just save and give it a try first. We might not need the bombs, or the bombs that we have might be enough. Save now, because otherwise I will forget. Perf. Um, okay. Go to other area so I don't have to walk. Ooh. Inside the Sun and Moon Temple, go. Final floor? Hopefully final floor, which would mean one dungeon and then or like one town. And then I don't I don't know like if the end game how that works. If it's just like we just go and fight the dude, if it's a whole nother dungeon we have to get through before we can fight the genie. I have no idea how it works. Uh, oh, here we go. Use... You? You... No, no stuff in here right now, okay. Use... You? Is it the eye? Is the eye what we have to fight? It's just, it's just a very obvious, ominous eye. 
are the two little tiny oh wait no never mind that doesn't make sense i was gonna say are the two little tiny holes at the top of the triangle its actual eyes is it like one big creature the whole wall but then like i realized i'm just a fucking idiot and the eye would probably be its eye you know <laughs> not the two random holes that's a sarcophagi whoever disturbs my sleep shall be punished by death that's rude what did i do to you I'm just here to say hello. I need the thing. Oh, it's a curse. Okay. Stream, the ancient king's spirit is possessed by the dark genie as well. Can you defeat him? Oh, okay. He is possessed. Everybody's just possessed, aren't they, dude? Uh, I would like to switch people, actually. You. Uh, no effect. What is that black thing? A roach or something? Wait, why no effect? Take this burning shot of vengeance. Is that... I can't hurt him just with my attack. We need a strategy. Is that a hint? Do we need to use fire? Attribute. Do we have fire? We do. No, no effect. Do we, do we have to use Ungaga maybe? Or maybe like pure magic would do the trick? No. How do we hurt you? I'm guessing, I mean, cause like any other time there was black smoke, we had to use Ungaga, right? So maybe we need to use Ungaga special attack? Cannot exchange equipped weapon. Bro, I can't get away from the dude even. Okay, no, that's not working. What do we... <laughs> we can't hit him. Um, And I can't, like, get a far enough away from him to use Ungaga special. Oh wait, is it working? Ah, oh, it's working! Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We took a lot of damage trying to do it, sadly, but... Wait, did he instantly, like, go back? Do we have to use Umgaga for the whole fight? Bro. But Umgaga sucks. Okay, and he's invincible when he's in that mode. Um, okay. Well, first off, we need to use repair powder already, which is annoying. Do you have any other weapons, Umgaga, or is that it? Yeah, that's literally it. It's just his basic-ass weapon. Do you have anything equipped? Just wind stuff. We should probably give you, like, an attack and or endurance upgrade, honestly. Let's give you endurance 2, attack 3, I guess. So maybe we won't have to use as much repair powder. And then... Can we use bombs, maybe, once we get him, like, a little damage? We don't need this for now. Get rid of that. I think we can take another hit without dying. Gotta, like, get enough distance on him first. And then... Oh. Oh. Well, that worked, but for some reason, we took a bunch of damage, too. Use... Standing powder, I guess. And then we need to also use revival powder, because it, it seems like we literally can't win this fight without Ungaga, so... Which, also, don't we have... Revival powder automatic? Maybe it's maybe it's not? I don't know. 
Damn it. Okay, whatever. It's not worth screwing with. Uh, switch to Ungaga again. Okay, so it does work. I guess maybe we should have brought our bombs, though? I wish it wouldn't un-freaking lock on every time we... Every time we, like, go through the motions with them. Nice miss, dumbass. <laughs> we only have like two more bombs. Don't be missing, bro. I guess if we did it quick enough, it would probably be fine too. Like if we swap to Zhao super quickly after getting rid of the mist. Oh, it only did one hit? I thought the, the whole point of the nuts was that it did like multiple hits. I guess not, though. Uh, I don't know how much, like, it takes each time we use this special. And then quickly switch to Zhao, and then... She actually does more damage than Ungaga does anyways, huh? Or than the bombs do anyways, <laughs> like... I think we can do one more. Yeah, that's fine. Why is it not hitting? That was stupid. Back to him. We need to use repair powder again. Not a huge fan of this boss, I gotta say, man. Is it because we're locked on? What? It worked just a moment ago. <laughs> like, we literally did this just a minute ago, man, and it was fine. Why can we not do it now? Are we too close? Oh, uh, okay. It seems like we gotta be a step back for it to actually hit. Gaga again. So it's not a hard boss. It's just like, do you have enough repair powder to make this work, basically, is what we got going on right now. Because I have no idea how much health this dude has. Oh, I didn't realize it, like, uses stamina, weapon stamina, every, like couple of game ticks or whatever. We should probably also, unless it really was a hint and fire does deal extra damage, we should probably switch to holy because we have a lot more holy than we do fire damage. I guess it's about the same. Okay, sometimes the game just says no. <laughs> like, sometimes it's just like, you're not allowed to hit him and you just gotta deal with that, like. <laughs> Just freaking stupid. Let's use repair powder again. On Umgaga. Uh, you take that. 
Oh, kind of need to switch back to him too. That would be that'd be useful. Switch quickly. The more quickly we switch, the more hits we might be able to get off. Bruh, how much health do you have? Come on, we're doing like 100 per hit. I don't, I really don't understand why sometimes it just does not hit, man. Like, it looks like it should be hitting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank God, dude. Get wrecked, Mr. King's Curse. I wonder if maybe that special sword we got from the death of that dude. Lele if that would have, like, did something. Hydrate. hydrate. T. I really should have put... It on my warmer, just to keep it warm. Because, like, it is already cold. Well, it is fine. I mean, I could do it now, I guess. <laughs> my warmer is just, like, right there. It'll at least, like, warm it up some. I think it's too big for the warmer. I mean, it might not, like, sit perfectly on it. It sits, like, over it. <laughs> right? Not really on it, like, the warm part, but but near it, you know? Over top of it. So it's probably just going to get super hot the warmer itself and not the cup, but whatever. Psycho, what's up, man? Long time no see. How you been? So now I'm assuming we just go down and like we're good now, right? We get a we get to steal the the moon thingy, the moon ship, whatever it is, and then go visit the moon people and party. I guess I don't, I don't know what's going on. Exclamation mark. Ooh, that's a fancy looking ship. Are those wings? The thingies? They look like... I don't know, they could be like fins. What a beautiful ship! Moon people are all born artists. This ship is a testament to that. Oh, she active. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> now that the king's curse has been broken, something is happening to the temple. Stream, get on the moon ship! Go! Quickly! Uh, but, like, can't we just come back here? We're able to go back to all the other dungeons, temples, forests, whatever. I'd be surprised if we're locked out of this one. We should make this work a rainbow heart. I mean, I can do... I have a couple animated spots. And I didn't think of that. That's not a bad idea. I might do that. Turn it into, like, just keep it the same thing, but just have the heart itself, like, change colors. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know we were about to... I didn't know we were about to do freaking... <laughs> the quick time events, man. But there you go. Back straight, chest puffed out. No, just, <laughs> just sit with my back straight. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be stupid. Oh... Uh, but yeah, I'll try to remember that. I might forget. Stretch? I'm supposed to be posturing. How am I supposed to Let posture and stretch at the same time? Y'all are a pain in my ass. And five bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Stretch is nice, though. Stretch is always nice. What is it? What's going on? I have no idea. Me neither, game. <laughs> Me freaking either. Oh, man. It does feel good to just get up, stretch the legs out, you know? Get the ankles loosened up, pop them a few times. Look at this beautiful ship. It's so fancy. It's so pretty. And it's mine now. I stole it. <laughs> Take it to the moon and back. See, everybody thought Mario Odyssey was cool, taking a ship to the moon. Nah, fuck that, dude. Dark Cloud did it first. <laughs> this is the real uh, uh, moon traveling game. I kind of lost it there. Whatever. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> to the ocean of stars and beyond. To yellow drops. 
Is that what he calls the moon? Yellow drops? Hopefully we can still travel like back and forth at will. I'm assuming we'll be able to, but... Well, is flying! Uh, you're right. No shit, dude. Kid must be on it. <laughs> Kid's on something. Yeah, the one with the green hat and those beautiful eyes. There's something special about him. Bruh. And I like 15 or something. Chill. Leave my eyes alone. <laughs> They're my eyes. You can't have them! <laughs> At least they don't look like that, I guess. Those eyes are... Oof. Gaga stream. Good luck. Thanks, dude whose name I forget. Oh, the rabbit people? <coughs> I did not expect them to be rabbit people from the way they were looking. Their eyes don't look as bad now though, with the hood taken down. Oh god, I'm dying a little bit. Okay, so I think... I think <laughs> there's gonna be a shop here. I'm assuming we'll have to unlock it, but I have no idea how this last town works. Um, but I think there's gonna be a shop here that's actually helpful to us. Like, that'll have good things that we can equip to try and get Super Steve. I'm not going to make that a requirement to finishing the game. Getting Super Steve, but I would really like to. Before we finish it up. Welcome to Yellow Drop. Oh, that's the name of their town. Not the whole, like, moon. I've heard the story from Nem of Brown Boo. These days, we have this neat communication system called CrystalNet. We get information fast. Fortunately, the mayor is not here right now. But rest assured, I, Samba, will serve as your guide in the place of the mayor. Please, come this way. I don't know, man. I don't think I trust Samba all that much. Something about him gives me an off vibe. Is he actually the Dark Genie? Just the fact that, like, the mayor's not here... And he's taking over for the mayor or whatever. Something sus about that. Like, why isn't the mayor here? Is the mayor not here because you threw him into one of these pits of acid that apparently are on the moon? Come on, stream. I'll give you a tour around the village. Where shall we start? Excuse me. Bruh. <laughs> Dude literally has a cell phone. Yeah, it's me. Oh, Linda, what's up? Uh, our date today? Yikes. <laughs> Come on, I didn't forget. How could I forget that? No way, really. Yeah, sure, gotcha. I'm leaving right now. Be there in a flash. Bro, these are the most human, like, creatures we've seen so far. All the humans have been, like, stiff and weird. And these dudes are just like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry, stream. I have an emergency. I have to go right away or I'll be in deep. Bye. So much for my tour, bro. How am I supposed to know what the hell I'm doing, where I'm going now? Hello, tap met before? Couldn't have, I guess. So wait. Okay, this doesn't seem like a town we can adjust. Unless there's another town on the moon that we're gonna end up unlocking. Hi, my name is Mania, a collector of rare moon items. I collect old items. Do you have any for me? Do I? Is this an old moon item? Nope. Okay. So now I guess we don't have anything for you. I wish we could at least go into the map menu just to see what all these buildings are. Can't believe that Sama got a girlfriend before me. Alright, Lumba, chill. No way to climb up? Okay, Salsa. Wait, no, I'm trying to talk to Salsa. Hey, you're not from around here, are you, weirdo? <laughs> I'm the weirdo! Alright, freaking moon bunny. <laughs> the moon rabbits are calling me the weirdo, man. I don't I just whatever. What is this? This is a big room. Is this like the mayor's place? The the town hall? Oh, there's something here. I don't know what I just got into. I was just exploring, bro. This is the factory that our boss is so proud of. 
What do you think? It's something, isn't it? I am Ladon. I am in charge of this factory. I was told about you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he just shook his thumb. <laughs> like, we didn't even grab his hand. We just... Oh, Samba's supposed to be your guide? He's not around. Well then. I'll take his place and guide you. So, I hear you need to know something. This is a secret skill from ancient times used by our ancestors. Maybe our boss knows. Yeah, I kind of clicked through it too fast. Shall we go? Sure, let's let's go. <laughs> Why not? This is the great factory our boss, leader of the moon people, has created. There's nothing you can't make here. Can you make me Super Steve? Fortunately, the boss is not here. Along with testing the new model, he's entered a contest. If it's urgent to see him now, go to the Colosseum. The Colosseum is straight ahead, past the Moon Sea. However, the Moon Sea has changed recently. Monsters are lurking all over now. Okay, so that's probably the dungeon we have to get through. Also, the structure of the Moon Sea seems to have become more complicated. I'll walk you to the entrance of the Moon Sea. This way, please. Wait, do we have to go, like, straight in there? I'd really prefer if we could not. So since they're like a technologically advanced race, it seems like, and it seems like every other unlocked like character we get is is ranged, I wonder if the next one's just gonna have a gun. Beyond this gaze the moon scene, but then it's quite different from any sea you know. Recently many monsters started appearing there. Stay sharp and be careful. Various recovery and support items are sold in this village. Be fully prepared before you set foot in the moon sea. Let's go. Okay, good. Hopefully it's the shop that I've that I've seen online, read about online. I don't know how much the like how expensive the stuff's gonna be or anything like that, but just being able to buy things that'll actually help us upgrade our items quickly, like with with fervor would be nice. You need gunpowder to use the cannon that transports you around the moon sea craters. It's sure to be somewhere in each crater. Maybe one of the monsters has it. So they do have gun technology, obviously. They got cannons, they got gunpowder. You're from Blue Terra? What What are you doing here? Got nothing better to do? Um, looking for these shops that I was told about is what I'm doing here. But I don't know where anything is. Hi, Jive. Hi there. Who are you? I'm Jive. I know all about weapons, so listen up. To build up a Sun Sword, increase its original anti-bases evenly. And then all five elemental attributes up to the necessary level. I mean, we could do the Sun Sword thing, but like, do I care enough to do the Sun Sword thing? Probably not. Are you... Shop? Yes, can I shop here? What do you sell? Oh. Gun made of shell, fires magic bolts. Upgraded machine gun. <laughs> it's just got, it just got just straight up guns. I love it. This is not the shop that I was hoping for, though. But still, like, that's fantastic, dude. Uh, how many auto repair powder do we have? Just one. I'm gonna buy another auto repair powder, and then once we unlock a character that can use the guns, then we'll probably buy them, I guess. Again, money is not that big of an issue for us as long as the upgrades aren't that expensive. Actually, how much will you pay for, like, some of the weapons that I have now? No, I don't want to sell any of these things. Weird that the Sun Sword is worth worth less than the uh, Wise Owl Sword. Um... I guess I don't really want to sell any of the stuff. I don't know. The weapons. It's like, we have too many, but I feel like they all probably have a use somewhere, somehow. Even if it's just fodder for... Upgrading other things. I'm assuming every central door just goes to that factory area that was kind of useless to us. So I'm not going to keep going in there gonna keep exploring the outside ring and hoping for the best can I check in some items okay uh, here you can take the gourd and that and then I'll take this stuff cuz I'll sell them 
next time I find a shop. I won't sell these yet until I know if I need them or not, but that's what. Uh, 5, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12,000 saved up. Plus whatever we end up selling that like we have on us. Oh, I always get stood up when meeting Samba. He's so rude. Wait, Samba hasn't made it here yet? Oh wait, Samba's right there. What do you mean you get stood up? Samba's literally right there, bro. Sorry to like <laughs> interrupt your guys' date though. That's, that's kind of rude of me, honestly. And My bad. Where's the upgrade shop at, man? I think that's the way we came in. So that would make this the first building we went in, right? Cheek? Ceiling skill, never heard of it. What is it? Oh, wait. That's the dude we talked to. So no, we've been in everything, I think. So maybe the shop that I was hoping for isn't here. Oh wait, no, you're new. Hi, in Yellow Drops, we've kept a particular tradition for ages, but the boss completely disregarded it to build a high-tech factory. I wonder if it was the right thing to do. Do you really have to get rid of the old to create something new? Um, I, I don't know, man. Ooh. Oh. Have you ever seen the Bravery launch? It's a curse board that makes you want to jump off when you step on it. I'm not that stupid. I'll never get on it. I'll get on it. <laughs> I'm that stupid. <laughs> Where is it? Let me let me get on this curse board that makes you want to jump as soon as you step on it, man. I'm down. What are we jumping into? I don't even think I care, to be honest. I'm just like, I'm just curious. Is it this weird, like, acid moon juice that's laying around all over the place? Oh, oh. So there is a Giorama here. Okay. So no, we probably do have to unlock the shop that I'm searching for. I didn't expect it to be here. Though, do these things do things? What is What happens if we... Nothing. Nothing happens if we stand on that. Okay. What do you want? Watch move? No. I don't... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to move. Guess we can't climb up that. It's not low enough. There's a ramp, though. Go up the ramp. I guess we just go... I guess we just go to the moon sea, then. Uh, presumably we can... Can we do it from here, or do we have to, like, actually go in the moon sea first? Yeah, I guess we actually have to go in first. Whatever. Teleport us to town, at least. Mm, I gotta remember how to get there, though. So... This one, maybe? I think it's this one. Right? This is either the one we need to go to or the ship, one or the other. Based on that music, I'm thinking it's the one we need to go to. Wait. Has this first cannon already been loaded with gunpowder for us? <laughs> God, dude, for real? <laughs> Just getting shot out of a cannon to travel? Why not, man? That seems that seems legit. That seems safe. I like it. Ah! Why is? Hold on. Seems like a lot of stuff in OBS got messed up. Like, that shouldn't be there. Why are you here? No, go away. 
hide, I guess. Why well, have an OBS, man? Why is it being so weird? Whatever. <laughs> the way we just freaking like land. Okay, uh, you, you're still by far our best. And then, I guess we'll grab Dran's Feather. Ah, uh, I forgot to sell crap, so now we just have a bunch of stuff in our inventory we don't need. Well, not a bunch, it's just a couple things I wanted to sell here. Oh well. Whatever, not that big of a deal. Good to know there's still random things we have to jump across and whatnot. It's weird, like, how open this place is, man. It feels wrong. He's a bug with a howitzer in his back? Wait, what? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Are they robots? What is... What is this? Hold on, okay. Another thing. Steve... Holy doesn't seem to be doing much. Maybe thunder? Okay, yeah, that seemed to do a bit more. Okay, there's gunpowder. I'm assuming that's what we need to, to leave, or all we need to leave. Uh, no, I guess it's doing about the same. We must have just got, like, some sort of crit or lucky or something. Ooh, they drop bombs as something we can steal. That's handy. A handle? What are we going to use a handle for? Um, oh, and I guess we should probably stop using Steve for a moment and go to double impact. Equip you. But I did just want to double check. Steve, what else do you need still? So you need thunder. And then all of the attributes, because we got so unlucky with, like, the status shift or whatever the hell it's called. It really screwed us over on that one. Um, okay. So, thunder. And then all of the other stuff. So, we don't actually need any more holy. So, we can take off the holy. And then... Mage Slayer. Put that on, because that's something that we need. What are you called? A hell pockle? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, you know... Actually, before we add this to Steve, I'm gonna look up the list real quick and just make sure double impact isn't actually another special weapon. Because I don't want to, like, get rid of it if it is. Okay, it's not. It's just a mid-tier weapon for for her. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's actually it's only like a level level 3. Yeah, it's only a level 3. It's not even like that high up the list, but man, it's so freaking good compared to the other stuff that we that we have. I mean, granted, Steel Slingshot is just a level 1, but like that's a big difference, man. I'm just going to keep following this. Um, We are actually hoping to get another like shuffle thing, whatever the hell it's called. So I'm going to re-equip Steve and WHP. Oh, well... That's not exactly what I wanted to happen, but it's not the end of the world either. That's fun. We can live with it. Poisonous apples, whatever. I, would creatures here even be susceptible to poison? I'm still kind of working under the idea that they're all just secretly robots of some sort. Thirteen. Still not getting much gold from these dudes, eh? Hey, map maps are nice. Is there moon water? It looks like there is. Test your courage. Is that what we use the this for? No. Hmm. 
maybe we have to find the board and then put the board there and then jump off to be attached someplace tool to rotate something I don't know man I have no idea what's going on read a poem okay Oh, I should probably like sit up straight too, you know, make it a little easier to read and stuff. Let's see from pillow thoughts here. Is this, I don't know if this is the, actually like the one that we're on. Do I remember? I don't remember where we actually left off. I guess we'll just start from here, the one that I was uh, bookmarked on. Don't know if it's right or not, but whatever. Wait, which book? This is the first one, okay. You are the freckle on my nose, and I am the freckle on my back. We share the same space, but we will never be together. That's one. I swore I would never be happy again the day you said let's just be friends, but the world goes on even when lovers go their separate ways, so I will carry on in the hopes I'll find another lover someday. Aw. Aw. These ones are like sad ones, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how the book works. It's like each section is a, a mood or whatever. And I guess that one's a sad mood. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> like I said, those are sad ones, dude. Oh. I don't know. Did I remember to move the bookmark to the next page? I'm not sure. It's fine. Do we open you already? You don't look open. Bomb! The game really likes to give us bombs all of a sudden, man. I wonder, like, are bombs gonna be... Why can't I shoot you? What are you... Uh, is it because the Atla? Is the Atla, like, in the way? Ah! I mean, we could, like... If we read enough, eventually we'll get out of the sad section. Or, it, I mean, technically we could, like jump ahead but like then I'll definitely forget where we're at and what we're doing like what has been and hasn't been read bread yeah we don't need the bread right now we do sadly need repair powder I wonder if that shop in town I didn't really check but I wonder if it sells repair powder since we're not using super steve which has like a ton of stamina we're gonna be going through it more often. Not if you don't move the bookmark. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> we would have to, like, I guess I'd have to get two bookmarks, right? Have, like, one in the front and then one in a different section or something? I don't know. What is Ammonite? What is... What is Ammonite? Did it not just say we got Ammonite? What is... This is water, bread, antidote, cheese, bombs, whirlwind gem, bunch of powders, handle, the things we forgot to sell, and then nothing weapons none of this is ammonite oh, impact serpent sword sun sword chopper dagger base art gladius bruh okay or wait, was that an Atla? Did I, did I just open? I'm so freaking stupid. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm stupid. We just opened an Atla. That's something for somebody's house that we just got, dude. Jesus. Oh. Oh, you know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it still hurt. Obviously, I'd rather not get hit by it, but we can take a couple of hits before we die. That's okay. You don't remember if you move the book marks. Now we're just stuck on. Oh. I mean, I probably moved it, and it's fine. If not, hopefully whenever, like, I see it, I'll remember that, hey. 
<laughs> I read this one already. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> to be determined, man. It might happen, it might not happen. It's fine. Give me moon water, please. Uh, does anybody else need moon water? Or healing? Or just anything? Everybody take a drink of the moon water, dude. There we go. Oh, you guys move fast, you know that? Makes it really hard to shoot you. Does this weapon have any... It has zero MP, so it probably wouldn't matter even if we did apply an attribute. I still will. Because presumably it's better than, like, nothing. I mean, it's still showing, like, a thunder effect. So I'm guessing it still, like, has an effect. It's just the higher the MP, the stronger the effect is. So unless they're, like, specifically resistant to thunder for some reason, I think it'll be better to have it than not. Crown? These don't sound like people's homes. I need, I need homes. I need stuff that's actually, like, gonna give us a shop. Moonbug. I still don't understand why moonbugs have freaking howitzers in their <laughs> their shell, man. We might end up just doing the trick, because this is... It's not like the damage output that's a problem. Because it's not that bad. Ah, I was really hoping that'd be enough to kill it. Um... But it's just the amount of weapon HP that it uses for attack. We might end up having to do the Super Steve thing anyways. Or just go and buy a bunch more repair powder, I guess. That's an option, too. It's a lot less annoying to just use the repair powder than it is to constantly switch back and forth. Yeah, we'll probably just try to remember to buy a repair powder after this dungeon's finished up. This floor, section of the sea, whatever. We got a few dudes. And then what's the thing over there? Like, that looks like a little tiny. Honestly, I'm wondering if that's the board, but the other thing said something about courage. I don't know, man. I really wish Zhao had a special attack. It's so dumb that she's like the only character without a special attack. She can just aim a little bit by holding the button down. Come here, witch. Bro, you weren't even facing my direction. I was like, I thought we were safe. Then her attack just went freaking, like, sideways. More repair powder. Drop anything good for us? No, not a damn thing. Well, you suck. Turtle shell? Turtle shell could maybe be... A house or a building of some sort. Oh, you know what? I bet this is where the gear is used, right? Or the handle, whatever the hell it's called. To lower the bridge? Yeah! Let's go. I'm smart. No, you don't. Hey! And double ABS is full. Or double impact, whatever the hell it's called, is full. Uh, we should have things on you, right? Yep. So, upgrade. Yes, confirm. So then, we don't need holy. 
Um, I guess until we get stuff, there's nothing I really want to put on you. So I'll just make you better to use for now. Give you a little bit of endurance and some more attack. Until we get that other shop, it's just like, whatever. We're just kind of making do with what we have at the moment. gonna take a minute to get used to just like everything being so open <laughs> keep expecting it to just be like well not <laughs> you know <laughs> just to have walls everywhere gunpowder cannon can be used fire the cannon fire i'm gonna restart my upscaler um leave dungeon temporarily So did that turn it off? Did the button work? No. Nope. There we go. Powering off. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Give it a second. I'm hoping restarting it will fix the like weird desync issue that it's having. There is a another like firmware update, and there's like constant firmware updates for this thing. But I don't think it should affect us at all, and we weren't having problems before. But it already looks... No, okay. It might be locked properly. Alright, we need to find that shop. So from here... Is it one to the right? That was the shop? Was it you? Because I think you're the weapon dude, right? Which means that... In here... Would be shop bro. Yeah, okay, cool. I would like to sell some stuff to you. You can have this and this and this and that. I need a bunch of freaking repair powder. I was gonna say, please tell me you freaking sell repair powder. There we go, like 15 plus whatever we already had. That should be that should that should last us for one or two floors at least. And then I think that was it. Yeah, I can't buy anything of use from you. I mean water and stuff, but we don't really need water or anything right now. We just wanted to get rid of some stuff and get a bunch of the, the repair powder. I don't know, the, the heating pad's working a little bit on the tea. It's warmer than it was, at least. But it is, the cup is a little bit too big to fit on it. It's like just sitting around the outside of it, but whatever. We can deal with that. Can we see? Yeah, Giorama parts. I didn't know if we had to go in there to see it. Okay, so everything we unlock so far is just items. We can't actually place anything yet. So we can just go straight back down into the dungeon. No point in screwing around up top here. Moon sea, please. Go. So wait, if the cannon at the start here can shoot us to any section of the moon sea that we want to go to, why couldn't we just be shot like straight to the end and call it a day? <laughs> why do we have to go through all this, you know? I feel like it's a little, uh... I, I can't think of the word. Unnecessary. Keep following the right side again. Oh, already got a switch back. Building. Finger. That doesn't sound like a building. <laughs> I mean, it could be. What do I know? But I don't. I don't think a finger is a building. Oh. 
I wish there was like auto lock on. That that'd be handy. I'm just gonna keep following the right wall. You open the thing. There's something in my eye. Twisted horn that also does not sound like a building. Is it just going to give us, like, all of the pieces before actually giving us stuff to place down? Hello, bug. Uh, I feel like the bug would hurt if we got hit by the bug. A lot more than, like, getting hit by the witch's thing would. No, oh, I shot a chest. Stop running, witch. Ah, you bastard. Oh, there's another person behind us. Okay. Hold on. Let's just repair. I was tempted to kill her before, but now that we have somebody else behind us, too, let's not take extra risks. I really don't want to lose double impact. It's actually a good weapon. Are there mimics on the moon? <laughs> There's fish bait, apparently. Can we fish on the moon? <laughs> a gooey beach? Ooh, a map. This is a relatively short dungeon. I kind of wish we would have gone to the left. Fire gem. Is that the consumable one or the one that we can, like, put on us? I think it's the consumable one, yeah. Uh, the one we don't really care about. We're looking for the equipable ones. The ones that raise attributes. I think those are like sapphires and emeralds and like actual gems. Though not the like fire gem, wind gem, whatever kind of thing. Sky on? Is your AI bugged out? I don't mind if it is. You can just sit there and let me kill you. <laughs> this, this makes it much easier for us, man. Thanks for that. Wait, <laughs> are all of your guys' AI bugged out? Maybe they don't work unless, like, you get closer to them. We could probably get one more shot off, but... Rather be safe. Sick. Okay. Flapping fish? Fresh fish. They will spoil unless kept on ice. Why are we getting fish on the moon? That's what we needed for the, like, underwater area, right? To get into the, the secret back rooms, whatever you want to call it, there. Doesn't really seem like it would serve much purpose up here. Unless that's secretly what we need to get into the, to these back rooms. Uh, we can use the thing. We can zoom. I should have bought another feather, actually, now that I've, like, fallen in love with them. It only took us getting through, like, three quarters of the game before I decided to give it a try and realized that, hey, this is actually kind of nice, man. Another enemy with, like, their AI bugged out. What is, what is going on on the moon? Oh, whatever, they're dead, so... I won't complain about that. Elephant emblem. Can these next three enemies all be glitched out too? The like three that are just sitting in a row up here? No, of course not. Uh, actually, I'd like to kill the bug first. I feel like it'll do much more damage than the witches. Really gonna do my best to just not get hit by it, but... One down. Mm. 
I need to play it safe. Thank God repair powder's cheap, man. Also, is there water up here? There is. Oh. I was asking for water because we were getting thirsty, but I guess now I kind of need it just because of damage. she didn't shoot anything that time. Maybe they have a melee attack if you get too close. I'm not sure. It did look like one though. I mean I guess her like ranged attack looks like a melee attack too. It's just a fireball kind of comes out of the end of it. Ooh. Well these guys still seem to be bugged so that's fine. <laughs> Maybe they only have, like, short-range attacks? Can they not walk, though? They kind of look like fish people. Maybe that's why they drop fish? Item... Okay, we're not really using the food. I hate... I hate how you have to take things out of your active items. It's nice that you can quickly load it by clicking on it, but it sucks that you have to take it out one at a time. Why can't I just click triangle on it to, to take it out like I can to put it in? I just want to put the repair powder in there because we're using it much more than we're using food. Oh, you can't actually put repair powder up there. Good to know then, never mind, put all this back. I guess that would have just been too convenient having the, the repair powder up there. I could have swore we had repair powder in our hot bar before though. That's everybody dead. In the two thingies and get the hell out. We should be able to do another floor with the amount of repair powder, repair powder that we have now. I am a little worried about Dran's feather running out, but if it does, it's not the end of the world. It just means it takes longer to run around, right? Do we want to go and get a drink first? No. I think it'll be fine. Even with Duran's Feather, the amount of time we would spend running over there, just come all the way back to the other side of the map, just, mm, doesn't sound fun. Have some gunpowder, and let's freaking go, dude. Get shot. <laughs> to the next floor. Boom. Uh, let's switch weapons. Maybe we can get a, a randomized thing, please? Max increased. Well, we just had a decrease, so I guess that evens it out. Oh, you're dead. Okay. And it's Oh, but wait, didn't we have nothing to put in it though? It was all generic. I don't want to upgrade it with generics. Steve's full too? Steve's full too. You're not full, but you're also super weak. We'll give you a chance for a second. Oh wait, you have... You have useful stuff in you. Never mind. Hold on. Take these out of you. Steve does need undead, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. So we can upgrade double impact. We'll give you 
Undead. The attack plus one, because we don't need attack at the end of the day. We'll do that. What attribute are you currently ro rocking? Thunder. If we had more thunder, I'd give you more thunder, but sadly we don't. Cool, okay. Upgrade. Build up. Upgrade. Yes. Now we're out of decent stuff to give, though. Give you that back, and then... I guess a speed increase, because whatever. Gotta give you something. Unless the game wants to be kind and give us ones that we need? No, it gives us bananas. Joy. Okay, confirmed. Mimics are a thing on the moon. Oh, wait. We have the wrong freaking weapon equipped. <laughs> like, seven? Seven damage? Come on, man. But that makes a lot of sense now. Who shot at us? I don't see a moon bug. My god, dude. The mimic on the moon... Has so much freaking health. Just die, Mimic. Ah, no. Gotta remember to, like, time the shot right, too. And I hit the wrong person. There we go. Drop. Oh, oh, we got a new Drans feather. Nice. Okay, but we need to repair first. Oh, uh, you're done, and then kill you. Go ahead and roll around. Yeah, rolling around. It seems like their defense is lower whenever they roll around. That was dumb, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to lock on here. Oh my god, okay. Uh, we have that bread. It's not like we're gonna really use the bread for anything else. Can we stack trans feathers? No. Okay. Didn't really figure, but... Didn't hurt to try. Oh, that bread did a lot more than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be basically pointless, to be honest. I really hope we don't get more mimics, man. <laughs> Mimics suck. The way they jump around and then just, you know, getting your hopes up for a chest and then it's nothing. Potato, that's money. Kind of wish that moon bug wasn't locked onto us right now. Kind of ruins our easy space guy on fight. I wasn't so obsessed with the idea of getting Steve upgraded to Super Steve. I would just say screw it and just use Steve. Because he has so much more endurance, man. Like, it's really insane how much longer one round lasts with him than it does with anybody else. And, I mean, he is just more powerful as well, but it's not, like, that big of a difference. Are you, like... No, never mind. I was going to say, maybe you're weaker if we hit you in the back or something. But you look at us no matter where we're at. Did we? Oh, there's different bridges that do different things. This one needs smashed. Okay. I was wondering how the hell we were going to move forward. Yeah, I get a game. I'm trying to smash. I don't think we have the, the handle yet. The gear, whatever you want to call it. Nope.
I'd really rather not bug. One down. No bug. Get wrecked. Try and decide if we can do another floor after this one, or if we're gonna have to give up after this one. Another ammonite. Just because of like the amount of repair powder that we're going through. Plus, I'm still really hoping to get that shop opened up, but for all I know, it could be the last freaking thing we get. And actually, now that I think about it, some of the other weapons might have some useful equipables to it, because we were, like, trying to level up Goro and whatnot. Oh, freaking Mimic. Actually, speaking of Mimic... Was it Goro that we were trying to level up? Yeah, we already have that equips. Oh, no. Nah, I mean, maybe because it has, like, the metal, anti-metal damage thing on it, but... He doesn't have anything useful equipped to him, though. And he's so much freaking weaker than Zhao. Although, honestly, it might be easier to use him to deal with mimics than with Zhao, just because Zhao freaking sucks with the whole... <gasps> I did not realize how much it was taking every time we did a hit. Okay. Thank God for auto repair powder. That's why I bought another one. Not you, you. How much is it? So we're currently sitting at 54. It takes four for every hit. I take it back. I'd rather just use Zhao, dude. Even if it is harder to hit, like, not even for a hit, for every, oh no, okay, yeah, for every hit. It takes four durability. That seems a little ridiculous. At least his defense is bearable now. Much, much better than it was not that long ago. Oh, there's the handle. Ooh, nope, we were on the right side. Freaking Mimic. Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna switch back to Zhao. Or Ruby, actually. Because Ruby's magic is much larger. Are you currently using your best weapon? No, you're using the basic one. Uh, I guess Platinum Ring plus two. Hmm. For what, ice damage? Yeah. And might as well give you a speed upgrade, because why not? Yeah, much easier to hit the Mimics with her than it is with Xiao. And much better durability than Goro has on her weapon. Still hoping for that randomizer. Let's go. Need to get reshuffled. Shuffled to something good. WHP recovered. I mean, that's nice, but... Is not what I was hoping for, game. It, for a minute there, it seemed like every one of those little pad things that we were stepping on was doing it. Shuffling our, our attributes or whatever, but... Now it's like none of them want to, man. The game caught on to us. It gave us the worst option, and then it stopped. We don't need to go back over here. Since it is just a creature in a chest, but... Not doing it feels wrong. I like full clearing floors. I have no idea if the game tracks whether you full clear or not at all, outside of being able to freely leave the floor after a full clear. But it feels good to me.
Oh, <laughs> we're using Steve. I was so confused why the words were popping up. It's because I'm dumb, that's why. Oh, map, yeah, no. <laughs> of course it's the map. It's the only thing we didn't have. Alright, all the way back over, and I think we do have enough repair powder to do another floor. We're just running out of attribute increasing items, but other than that, we're doing pretty well. Nothing we really, really need. We have food, we have drink. Lots of repair powder. Right? Yeah, no, we still have what, 10? Nine? Yeah, nine. Decent amount. Cannon. Okay, I almost got a cannon powder. Close enough. Cannon powder, gunpowder. Would cannon powder just be like big gunpowder? These cannons are kind of just big guns. Ew. <laughs> it's a locked one. At least it's Ruby. Could be much worse. I'd rather it be Ruby than just about anybody else. Oh, her weapon speed is low, ain't it? Maybe it'd be worth, like, kamehameha -ing. Not sure it's actually any faster. No, I don't think it really is any faster. Okay. Weird how, like, sometimes you can shoot again right away, and then other times it makes you wait a second. Um, that looks like a fire one. Do I have... I do have fire gems. Okay. Guess you customize instead of ice. Give you fire. And then attribute. Fire... Let's go. I sincerely hope the game does check that you have whichever attribute you need. So we're doing what? 14, 19. If we swap you back to ice, what's the damage difference? 15, 15. Like, one extra. Oh, the witches can phase out of existence? Noodle, thank you for the five bits. 22, 25, 23, okay. Yeah, it does seem to be doing better. It's just not, like, an insane amount better or anything. I guess once we get the gunpowder, we could just kind of skip this floor. That's something we've done before, even though I do really like giving them the full clear. It's like... I don't know, we're locked to a specific character and I hate that. Holy, we don't need holy anymore though is the problem. Yeah, you know what? Screw you, Mimic. Oh no, because the Mimic could have the gunpowder, never mind. We still got to get that first before we start avoiding encounters. We know there won't be any Atla on this floor because we can't use the, the main character to open them. Another Drans Feather. Nice, dude. The game is being very kind with the Drans Feathers. Oh, speaking of canon, we haven't gotten the gunpowder yet, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Finally gonna go wash all your cups? Good luck. You got a lot of cups. You're sleepy? Me freaking too, dude. Me too. Like, all the time, though. How many of the cups that need wash are mine?
Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Zero. None. Nada. I own like three cups. All of them and then your water cup is yours. Okay. Sure. Don't run away, witch. I'm trying to murder you. Stop moving. Oh, two of them are my water bottles? Okay, well. <laughs> whatever. Close enough to none. Oh. Where'd you go? Come back. You were gonna be kind enough to wash them for you? I mean, seriously, though, you don't have to. I appreciate it if you do, but you don't have to. Like, I can get my own water cups. It's not that big of a deal. Especially water cups. They're, like, the easiest one to wash out, you know? Because it's just water. Just clean around the top and rinse it out real good. If it's getting gross, put some soap in there. Don't know gunpowder, bro. Give me some freaking gunpowder, man! I want to get off this floor. I don't want to be on this ride anymore. Ah, uh, our feather broke. Good thing it gave us two more. Go there and run. Run, 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 run. It's going to be like the last freaking enemy is going to give us the, the gunpowder we need. It's weird that her magic seems to have like a knockback effect. Like... Like, why doesn't Zhao's slingshot have a knockback effect? Is the magic... I don't know. I guess just because it's magic. Like, I guess it doesn't really need a reason. It just is because it, because it is. Nope. Five... Four, three, two, repair. Yeah, we probably will go back to town after this floor, honestly. Grab a couple more repair powders. Sell some of the stuff that we've picked up that we don't need. God, I wish we had a turbo button right now. Mash this X button for me over and over again. Endurance plus one. It's not bad. It's not nothing we need either, though. And another wind gem. Talk about things we don't need. Do we? We did put stuff on you, right? Would I rather have endurance or speed? I think it, the speed's fine. It's only a one difference anyways. It's not really going to matter that much at the end of the day. Good job getting stuck on that chest, you dumbass. And you're dead. Just give me some freaking gunpowder. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Wind. You don't need wind. Uh, sure. ABS is full. Do we want to upgrade it, even though it doesn't really have things equipped that we want? I don't know. I don't... I don't think so. I think we just wait. Until we get something useful on it, and then upgrade it. We would get a small increase on it, like just damage and whatnot, which would be nice to help get through like this floor, but generally we're not using that weapon anyway, so. Ruby's just like a backup for us. So I don't feel like we need a rush to do it. We got a big chest. Could be useful, could be completely useless. 
Depends if we pick right and what they decide to give us. Just die already, dude. I'm tempted to get close to one of these dudes just to see if they do anything. Finally, the freaking gunpowder. Okay, open the big chest. It's locked. Um, force it open. It's an explosion. Fail. What was it? Was it curse? Oh, okay. I forgot to check and see what happened. Bandit. Um, the bandit's not terrible, right? That's the one that gave us steel before, but what's its stats? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, no, decent. Base of 30. Yeah, okay. Cool. So after double impact, we also have bandit that we can use. Again, we've already put one bandit slingshot into it, but... Although the bandit slingshot's just pretty decent in general, like on its own. We might just keep it and try to, well, we're like so close to the end of the game. I doubt we're gonna be able to upgrade another thing. If we even get Steve upgraded for that matter, I guess we'll just take a look at its attributes and see if it has anything that we need. If it does, then cool, we'll use it. If it doesn't, then we just won't worry about it. Thirst reach its limit. Oh no, I don't care. We're going to be off this floor soon, and hopefully the next one will just have some water. After we go back to town. Got to remember to go back to town. Gunpowder. Do we go back to town, though? <laughs> I mean, the next floor is probably fine. We have some repair powder. And worst case scenario, we can go back to Steve. We're just missing out on experience that we could be collecting. Screw it, to the next floor. I'm gonna put my hoodie on though real quick. It's getting kind of chilly in here for some reason. My AC is set to what it's normally set to, but I'm a little... Hmm. Uh, swap to Zhao. Okay. Hoodie, 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 hoodie. If I didn't need, like, such a big freaking desk, I would love to get, like, a sit-stand desk. But I feel like most sit-stand desks are probably a about the size of the the main part of the desk that I use now maybe a little bit bigger and like I'm already using a second desk next to my desk to hold <laughs> my my monitors so I think I'm kind of stuck which is a normal desk for now a moon digger wait am I using Steve I am using Steve. I was wondering why we were stealing stuff. Can I shoot you when you're in your hole or just when you come out? Ah, rude. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> okay, we need food. <laughs> Eat some cheese. Oh, we can shoot you when you're in your hole. It's just, it does a lot less damage. That's all. God, you guys are annoying though, aren't you? Oh my god, okay, yeah, you guys actually kind of suck. We might end up having to use Steve on these guys. Yeah, okay, that's doing so much more. The amount, like, the damage difference is just insane, man. Because, like, Steve is what, 60? 
Double impact is 46. It's not that much lower. It must all be coming from like attribute damage or something. I don't know, man, but that's, that's, holy hell. And that's when it's in its hole. Like we were doing what, eight damage roughly with, with the regular weapon with double impact. We can still do the swap to get the bonus ABS. Double impact does still need ABS, right? Yeah, a little bit. Nope. We're only gonna do the weapon swap thing with these guys, because these guys are super freaking annoying. Having the steel effect again is nice. So those potato cakes are like, they're worth money, man. And once we unlock the, the attribute shop, so are the Mimis. Once we unlock the attribute shop, we're gonna need money, I imagine. Plus there's those two weapons that are in the uh, the weapon shop that we're probably gonna wanna buy. I don't know if they're special in any way or not, but still. New weapons for the, the new dude. We're definitely gonna go back up top after this one, not only because we're gonna need more repair powder, pretty much for sure this time, but also I want to check out all the Giorama parts. Yeah, okay, we've gotten a couple of things now that we can put down. A little eccentric, where's goggles? Oh, we haven't gotten any people yet though. A twisty swirl? That would be what, you? Ardent ancient shell of the moon. But what? Do you not have a person? Are we building like an actual mech here? What are we doing? I don't know if one of the neighbors got a new dog or something, but you feel like you've been hearing a dog bark all freaking day? I have no clue, honestly. I haven't heard anything myself, but I haven't really, like... Uh, you know, I haven't been listening for one or anything, so... Yeah, I don't know. Good, Mr. Watch? Yeah. Wants me to get up. I'm tempted to level up the bandit and add it to this one. <laughs> Just so I can get the the freaking steel effect. Uh, switch to Steve. Please be a shuffle, and then please shuffle kindly. ABS became full. I'm pretty sure we already had that happen once on Steve. Oh, uh, that was completely useless. Um, whatever. I don't know if there's a way. I don't think there's a way to tell what it's going to be before you... Wait. 25 damage? 23? Are we on Steve still? No. Oh. Why are we doing so much more damage all of a sudden to these dudes? When we were doing like 8 before... I'm so confused. Go back to digging around, dude. I know we do more damage when you're out, but like... Maybe I was misreading it before. Maybe we were doing 18 and I'm just dumb. Any quiet, peaceful kitties like ours? Our kitties are anything but quiet and peaceful. Menaces. Every last one of them. Eagle head. Six, five, four, three, two, we'll fix now. I'm not saying they can never be quiet and peaceful. But a lot of times, they're not quiet and peaceful. A lot of times, they're freaking menaces. You know it as well as I do. <laughs> I didn't claim to be quiet and peaceful now, did I? This is our life. <laughs> Just freaking... <laughs> 
Ah, ABS is full. Okay. Let's switch to the bandit one. It is sadly a little bit weaker. Because we don't have anything to customize you with, right? No. We might as well take these things off and give them to the bandit one, though, just to make it a little bit better. Since we're going to be using it for a bit. We'll give you an attack upgrade for sure. And then, honestly, the endurance upgrade, even if it is just one. Would rather have that than... I don't know, the speed, like, we can shoot a tiny bit faster, whatever. It's not going to be as slow as Ruby, either way. So who cares? Big urn. Not a normal urn, not a small urn, a big urn. She thick. Give me some good stuff to steal. What do you carry? I know the bugs carry bombs, but what do the little dudes carry? What do you carry, Mr. Moon Digger? Potato cake. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we knew that. Maybe I should switch to Steve. The switching back and forth would probably be faster than sitting here just mashing X over and over again. Like, I'm not even looking at the what's going on most of the time. I'm just mashing the button and keeping an eye on our weapon health. Prepare. Swap back to you. Oh, we didn't get any water on this floor. I was hoping to get some. Parts HDR2. And chest. Please no mimic. No mimic. Holy. Another one that we don't need anymore. We've gotten enough holy. We need thunder now. Thunder would be nice. Oh wait, there is water here. I'm dumb. <laughs> we had the map unlocked. I guess I just didn't see it. Oh, and there's a big chest too. Nice. Dead. Okay. Anti-curse. I wonder what happens if you have like an anti-curse amulet equipped and then you get cursed from a chest. Is the jester big or little? Which one do we want? I have no idea. <laughs> as far as I know, there's no way to tell. At least not with the first one. There might be a trick after that, but that's debated. Is questionable at least at, at best, I mean. Any picks? No. No big, no little, no nothing. Okay. We going for big then. Let's do let's do the big dude cuz why not, you know? <laughs> Magic hammer. That no, never mind. I was going to say that could come in handy for the MP that I'm assuming it has, but we don't need MP. And its main attribute is fire, which we also don't need. It does have some thunder, which maybe plus 60 to attack? That's not bad. It's just a weapon. That's much better than anything else he has. Well, thank you, Mr. Jester, bro. You have actually been helpful this time. Second floor, okay, so that's an upgrade for something. Get everybody a drink. A drink and a heal. Enjoy it. And oh, there is one more room still, so. Back to Zhao. Thankfully our exits over here too, so. Not that bad. 
We don't have to like run clear back across the dungeon. Oh god. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you guys kind of surrounded me a little bit. It was rude. Is that the gunpowder? I think that was the gunpowder. I didn't realize we didn't have it yet, to be honest. Take our little bit of gold. Our gunpowder that's kind of hard to see on the surface of the moon. One more Atla. Nice. Hearts. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter who we have. Since we're just going here. No need to switch again, basically. Gunpowder it up. Let's go. Cannon can be used. Fire. Blast us into the stratosphere game. Leave dungeon temporarily. We wanna, we wanna get rid of some stuff and do some stuff, and buy some stuff, <laughs> sell stuff and buy stuff. Basically, that's what we wanna do. completely forgot about chests like being a thing that we were collecting by the way get any more like yeah i mean i guess we have a few things to put down we'll go into the center too after we grass cake what is is that is that goro's thing yeah that's goro's thing which again good he needs the defense upgrade in case we ever like get forced into using him again But just like before with the other town, we're not gonna specifically run around and look for chests, I don't think, until this dungeon is basically complete, cause like if we come across it like that, of course we'll grab it, but otherwise, meh. Just gonna end up being a bunch of extra stuff in our inventory. It's gonna take a lot of time to run around and search for everything, and I just mm, can't be bothered. Just... God, these potato cakes and stuff, man. So much freaking money, let's go. Can we get up to 3,000? I guess it doesn't matter if we did get up to 3,000 because I'm going to want to keep... I'm going to want to buy some stuff, some repair powder. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter either way. Okay, um, we'll buy two of those. And then... I guess we could have bought... Hold on, never mind. Sell one of you. How much is this one? 3,000. We'll buy Snail. And then... We'll buy a bunch more repair powder. Buy another auto repair powder too, because whatever. There we go. It's a couple. The sad part is, is that we're going to be going through that like pretty quickly. Much more quickly than I would prefer. How much is... Trans feather. Can we sell anything that's worth like 40? Maybe 32? Bombs. I guess we could sell a bomb. Wouldn't mind having another Drans feather. I'm really enjoying them now. It makes getting through the dungeons much quicker. I, I wish I had like known better from the get-go, but nope. Did not! Didn't really cross my mind, you know, how useful it'd be to be able to run around quickly. Not to not to move around out of freaking snail space. Alright, uh Giorama menu, config, parts AML. Does it really matter where we put things? I feel like it's gonna be a little more crammed in here than most of the other things I don't are we supposed to be assembling something though or does it matter can we just put it down wherever we want 
leave a little bit of space. How far down can you go? And you can be rotated to fit a little more like in there. And I guess you can go here. Having you go against the back just feels good to me. HDR2, you're a single. Um, sure. I have no idea what we're doing. I don't know if we're supposed to be laying this out in some way to, like, actually make something or not. Okay, we won't fit, like, anywhere else. Well, will you fit over here? Well, you will. Okay, you can go there. And then a lookout tower. Because <laughs> why not? Um... Here, you can go, like, right in the middle. Is that everything? Now, what can we give? Do we have the elephant? We do. Large and curved, so, like, a, a tusk, a hand, a shell, and the shell gets one of these. Guess that's everything for you. You get an urn. And then an eagle head. And then some feathers. And then a person. Which we definitely don't have. You get a normal urn, and that's it. You need a big urn and sharp and made of hard minerals. Doesn't look like we have you, whatever you are. We do have the second floor, so now we just need two ladders. All right. I guess that's everything. <laughs> what are, are these like buildings? I mean, the lookout's pretty obvious, like, what it is. But what is... They look like parts to a robot. Oh, yeah, they're, like, up in the air, too. So they are, like... Some sort of parts or something. Or fluffy donut. Metal breaker. Metal breaker's one that we can use. Is that all of the pieces that exist right now? All the things, rather? Seems to be, okay. Increase your defense even more. Sort the rest, and we still have 34 slots. That's not bad. I think we're okay. I guess back to dungeon? I'm gonna, hold on, what's this place called? <laughs> Yellow drop. Where's my mouse? Dark cloud, where to? Um, this thunder wind, holy mage slayer, etc. No, this doesn't tell us where gemstones. Where do you buy gemstones? It's showing the gemstones, the things that I want to be able to buy, but it's not telling me where to buy them at, annoyingly. Or, like, how to get them at all. Uh... 
That's annoying. Okay, hold on. What if I specifically search for where to buy gem stones? Store for jewels, I guess. Whatever. Uh... Oh, mm, never mind. It's in like the last, last area. Ah, <laughs> gross. I think we're just kind of out of luck on getting Super Steve Dude without like grinding specifically to try and get it, which would take time and it's just it's not necessary you know like because like we're doing fine without it so i just don't feel like i need to spend all the time it would take to get it even though it would be really cool to have i think i'd rather just beat the game where can i buy I think it had a list, though, the first one I was looking at. Store availability, yeah, because we need... We can at least do that still. We can teleport around and buy the actual useful stuff that we still need, at least what we can buy. Because not all of them are, are purchasable. So, build up. You need... Thunder still? Thunder, Mage, Metal, Undead. Thunder, let's focus on... What does Double Impact have right now? You have Thunder, Mage, Undead. So where can we buy those at? Normally we would buy them from the Fighting Watery which we don't have because I didn't realize that that was a thing at the time. So Mage is a no-go. We can't buy that, period. What about Undead and Thunder? Undead is also the Fighting Watery. <laughs> we screwed ourselves so bad. I didn't know that picking a different option at the stupid watering place, water stand, would change what we could buy. That sucks. And as far as I know, there's no way to change it. And then Thunder we can buy from Gaffer at the, the first town. Um, there's no way to change, right? I don't think there is. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so I guess we just buy a bunch of Thunder and then focus on leveling that up as much as we can. Like, I don't know what else to do with it. So two gaffers we go then. So that we can at least start upgrading some stuff that we have on us. That was the wrong thing. Go to other area. Thank God for fast travel. No rune village. First village of the game. Still useful. My tea's starting to get a little too warm in the bottom. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, turn the heater off. Actually, I'm just going to take the whole mug off it, too. All right, Gaffer, come here. You're not Gaffer. I wonder how the mayor of this town's doing. We haven't talked to him in a while. I'm sure he's fine, though. It's <laughs> just... I'm gonna pretend he doesn't exist. Um, I would like to buy... I have no money on me. I would like to buy some thunder. Man, those gemstones are like so much better, but when I was reading, I saw how much they are. They're 3,000 a piece. So like saving some money would be good because right now we can only buy, what, four of them? Uh, like, oof. Um, <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we'll buy what we can of the Thunder. That's enough to upgrade one weapon right away at least. Not you, you. So we can upgrade double impact again with these. Wait, is that a metal one? Hey, cool, okay, that's one less that we need. And then upgrade, confirm. Okay, and then we'll give you the metal one. So we need at least two more for your next upgrade. Do we have any stuff to sell you? Probably should check that. Did I already sell everything? I already sold everything. Okay, let's go to the storage lady. Am I going the right way? Yes. I really don't want to spend any of the gold bars we have, because again, I would like to be able to buy the gemstones. Um, where am I going? You. Let's get rid of this and this for now. And the bombs. Clear up some inventory space. And do you have anything in here we can sell? No. That sucks. There was one thing that I saw, though. The foundation. Who was it? There was... Oh, man. I can't remember... can't remember. I think it was Muscalaska, though. There's somebody in Muscalaska, whatever, that wants the foundation. We must have just missed her for some reason. So we give the foundation to her. Oh, wrong thing. Go to other area. So we need to go back there. Here. Because apparently, if we keep trading this stupid item up over and over and over again, we can get a gemstone that's really good. Uh, it's not recommended to use it as part of, like, a level up thing, but we can use it to, like, put on top of whatever we already have to just increase its stats by a ton. And honestly... If it'll let me get Super Steve, I might just end up giving up and giving it to Super Steve eventually. I'm just saying. Uh, apparently, we also didn't check your house. Where are you? I think it was Jabubu that wanted it. Are you running around? People tend to stay close to their house, it seems like. Are you, like, behind your house? No, you're like nowhere. I wouldn't be you like, oh, well, now there's a time change. You might be back home. Do I go back in the house and check? Before we do that, who are you? Are you Jabubu? You're Jabubu. Hello? Was it not Jabubu? It might not have been Jabubu. Was it you? Hello? No. I'm guessing it's one of the three sisters, maybe? Is this the three sisters' house? It is. I don't know. I just know somebody wants this stupid thing here. I'm tired of carrying around this foundation for nothing. I thought maybe it would be, like, the older sister. Let's just search. Dark Cloud Foundation. What do I do with the foundation? Uh... Find Jabubu. On the rare occasion that he is in his house. Oh... He specifically has to be in his house. Okay. That's why it's never come up before. So we just need to wait for Jabubu to basically disappear. 
So once he disappears, I'm assuming he's going to be in his house, and then, yeah. Alright, so now we just keep an eye on Jabubu and wait, I guess, for a minute. Do you go home now, Jabubu? No. <laughs> Go home! <laughs> Why are you here? Get in your house! Uh, some people are saying it's impossible after you beat this area. Other people are saying, or at least one guy is saying that he did it after 100%ing the game. Well, like, Giorama and beating the end boss. So, like, I don't know who to believe here. Is it impossible? Is it possible? Ah, he's gone! Oh, wait, he's outside his house, though. Uh, all right, maybe it is impossible. I really hope not, man, because getting that thing would have been nice, but also just getting this thing out of my inventory would have been nice. Though it's annoying to get it right, you can actually do this at any point in the game. I did this after defeating the Dark Genie at Dark Heaven Castle and getting 100% completion on the Georama statistics. What you have to do is go to Muskaraka and find Jabubu, the guy who thinks he's beautiful. On the rare occasion that he is in his house, talk to him and give him the foundation. He'll then give you the clay doll. Okay. So do you ever go in your house? Are you in your house or are you running around? He might be in his house. Please be in your house, Jabubu. Jabubu is not in his house. Either this guy was mistaken, or it's like actually rare, rare. There's Jabubu. Go home, Jabubu. Do I need to, like, do something? How to get Jabubu to go home. <laughs> Search. Ah, oh, trigger discovered. Works 100% of the time. Um, okay. This dude says stand in front of his house and wait. Have the foundation item in your inventory. Check. Stand in front of his home for convenience. Simply wait on the ground, not in the view, until afternoon turns to dusk. And you see the cut sheet, cut scene showing you the time of day after it changes. Bruh, I feel like we were standing here whenever it went from afternoon to dusk or whatever. And it didn't seem to work. Well, now we're in night, which isn't the time we want. He's right there. We just, like, go in. Will he be in here? No. I think either this game is, or either this person is wrong, or it just doesn't work, man. I do have the foundation in my inventory, right? I should. Yeah, I definitely have it in my inventory. What if it's, like, in the first slot? <laughs> I don't think that should matter. Oh, I want you... Is 
standing in the southwest direction from his house and repeatedly pressing select. Each time you draw a time, we always stand on one or two spots. Oh. Wait. Is he in here now? No. Shoot. Okay. So... Uh, <laughs> okay. So there's like two different ways we have to do it. Apparently it is just rare. So right now he's going to be outside again. So basically we need to wait until dusk and we'll see if that happens the way the one dude said or whatever. Um, If not, then we just have to keep resetting him over and over again and hoping that he eventually... Just goes in his house. This is so dumb. Why is it like this? Game! Okay, it's so not afternoon, right? It's dusk that we're waiting for. Right. Afternoon turns to dusk. Okay. And apparently he'll be here 100% of the time, according to this random person on Game FAQs. <laughs> Apocalypse 612. Please be right. Although I feel like we've done this already multiple times. That didn't quite go down right. I'm fine. All right, dusk. Go in the freaking house, Jaboo Boo. Jaboo Boo's not in his house. Apocalypse six one two lied to us. Uh, okay. Um, is he? Is he outside his house though, or is that only at night? Hold on, pause the game for a second. Because I think it's only at night that he's outside his house. The solution is to reset him. Stand in the southwest direction from his house and completely press select. Um, Jabubu was standing in one or two spots. who either be standing outside his front door or walking away from you, usually to the southeast. Unless there is a road near his house. Uh, eventually appear in neither of these positions. Okay, so, Giorama. Wait. No, this. How do we move? Get rid of all the roads near his house. You get no roads, Mr. Jabubu. Sucks to be you, but apparently you're attracted to roads. We can't have that, so. Don't know, like, how far the roads need to be away from this house for this to work, so I'm just moving, like, all of them. We're just gonna have one big collection of road around this prisoner, dude. Oh, no, you can. You can stay where you were. There we go. I'm beautiful. All right. Now, apparently, if we just find a spot we can stand here. He's supposed to be standing. Again, it might only work at night, though. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, right now, he's not standing around this area. Hold on. Can I... 
Oh, go back. Move, remove. I want to move this as well. Just want to give us, like, more space to try and see him. I hate what it's doing to my layout, because while, like, it wasn't anything special, it was <laughs> at least decent, I feel like, until now. But whatever. This is more important. I need to get Jabubu to take his freaking crap. Oh, wait. No, yeah, okay. He's there. Is that him over there? That's him over there. He's there. He's over there. He's over there. He's there. He's over there. He's there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Apparently, eventually, this will work. How many times we had to do it? I have no freaking clue. Wait. Oh, sometimes it might be her, I guess. Are you Jabubu? You're Jabubu. Sounds like you're not having a great time. Yeah, I'm just a wee bit annoyed. Okay, that should be him there. Wait. I wish, like, I knew for sure if which one was him. Is that one him? That one's him. Oop. That one's definitely him, because he's standing outside his house. Oh, game. Why do you hate me so? It must be super freaking rare that he... Oh, uh, that's probably why it says south... East? Would this be southeast? You're not Jabubu. I don't know who you are, but Jabubu's outside of his house for sure. That's Jabubu. Are you Jabubu? You're Jabubu. You're Jabubu. You're Jabubu. Who are you? Nope. You're Jabubu. <laughs> Jabubu's outside his house. That's Jabubu. What you trying to do? Get you yes! That's exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's killing me. Just go in your house, man. <laughs> like... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe? I don't see him anywhere. Ah! He only does it for sure at night, you think? I tried at night and nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> he wasn't in there. I guess it's something to do with after you beat this area of the game, like after you beat the King's Curse, that he for some reason just doesn't like to go inside. So what I saw was recommended was just to keep res um, resetting him over and over again and just pray that he ends up going in his house. If you don't see him outside his house, go inside and hope for the best. There was one post on Game FAQs that claimed that if you have the foundation in your inventory, he will, and then you wait for a time transition, he'll 100% of the time go in his house. But I have the foundation in my inventory. He did not go in his house. Um, yeah, specifically it said whenever dusk happened, he will 100% of the time be in his house, but he's right here. Like, <laughs> so obviously not true. Although maybe like during the day, it's completely impossible. So I'm going to put, oh, I'm going to put time on. time on slow he's there now he's at his house maybe again I don't see him anywhere Bro, 
come on. Dude, <laughs> just go in your freaking house. Why are you like this, man? <laughs> it shouldn't... What is wrong with you? Why do you hate your house so much? That's him all the way over here. That's probably him right there. Outside his house. Outside his house. Right there. Outside the house. Like, where is he whenever this happens? Oh, he's all the way over here. Do we need to, like, get rid of everything? Is he attracted to trees and stuff? I saw somebody else say that he's attracted to roads. Like, walking on roads. So, like, I got rid of all the roads, but he still seems to be spawning in all kinds of random places. Because supposedly he's only supposed to have two spawn points. Unless there's a road nearby. He might have been in his house right there, but I'm not sure. I didn't get a chance to check. I didn't get over there fast enough. This man is a jumbumbum for real, though. Okay, he's outside his house. That's probably him right there. That's still him. Still him. It's not him. That is, though. He's outside his house. He's over here. He's over here. He's outside his house. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, dude. I just want to give you freaking foundation, man. I'm trying to help you out here. Oh no, get up there before time changes or anything stupid. No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Why? Why is it like this? Why is this even a thing? Why does the man refuse to go home? Where is he if he's not home? Is that him? That's him. That's probably him right there, huh? Yeah. Maybe his spawns are stuck. I mean, maybe. I'll give it a try. But it seems to be just a known problem with the game. From what I've read online. But, like, I did just move those roads. Maybe it doesn't update the roads being moved until, like, the town's completely reloaded. I could certainly see that being a thing. So yeah, screw it, why not? Or actually, you know what? I'm just gonna save. I'll... I'll go to a different area, save. <laughs> Restart the game. To hopefully, like, give it the best chance of just resetting whatever RNG counter or whatever it use is. I guess it doesn't matter where we go. You had this problem, but this is wild, right? <laughs> like, it's... Oh, man. It is not liking me. It is crazy. I just want to give him the stupid foundation. Yeah, I've been trying for a bit. Not like a crazy amount of time, but a handful of minutes at least. Okay, save complete. Game's been saved. Restart the PS2. Did that? Nope. Come on. There we go. Uh, restart the PS2, try again. I just want to get the Sunstone or whatever it's called. So I can put it on a weapon and have it be, you know, decent. <sighs> Once spent three days resetting Goro for an excellent. I don't know what that means, but that sucks. <laughs> Oh, uh, I did get another bandit slingshot, though. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I was happy to have that. Like, I know who Goro is, but couldn't beat his duel at the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Honestly, I don't remember very well whenever I got him. Like, I obviously, I have him. I'm farther in that. And, uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> 
<laughs> memory's not great. Plus, half the time, whenever I play the game, I'm, like, so freaking tired that memory's even worse than usual. Uh, you here. 70 dungeon times already? Is that, like, on the load screen or something? <laughs> I know so little about this game, man. <laughs> what does 70 dungeon times mean? <laughs> 70 like trips into the dungeon I'm guessing is what it means um okay we spawned over here keep track of how many times you enter oh, okay 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 yeah okay here okay he's outside his house he's outside his house he's neither one of those spots so unless he's spawned behind us Nope. Must have spawned behind us. Mm, okay. It's going to have a change now because of the time of day change. That's not him. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> Thank God. Jesus Christ. I don't know if it's because we saved and reset. I have no idea. But like, holy shit. Thank God, dude. <laughs> uh, yes. I have something that can increase your freaking beauty. Take it already. <laughs> Give me the clay freaking doll and let me out of here, man. <laughs> oh my God. That was ridiculous. <laughs> you just made... Yeah, I know. I see that. Huh. It's like a caveman's toy, but at your young age, you might like it. Yeah, thanks for that, Jabubu. All right, now we can just get the hell out of here. So maybe it was the saving and resetting. Maybe that's what it. That maybe that's what we need to do, or just leave or something. I have no idea. Um, so my best guess is that the road being over here was attracted to him. Even after we moved it, it was like stuck. That hey, there's road here. So leaving and coming back, just resetting everything, fixed it. That's. That's going to be what I, my guess. I, I have no idea. I'm just glad that we freaking got it and we're done with it. Like, oh boy. All right, cool. Now we can go turn in the freaking clay doll. <laughs> I just got to figure out where they're at. I've seen the person before. I just don't remember. Uh, no, I don't remember who it is. Actually, I think it's you right here. So I remember it was pretty close to the start of town. Yeah, I have a rare moon item for you. Whoa, cool. Where'd you get that clay doll? An ancient figurine clay doll made by an ancient people. And this model is like totally rare. There's only a couple dozen of them. Can I please have it, please? Sure. <laughs> Take it. Is yours, dude. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, But I see. I guess you can't, huh? Oh, I know. I'll give you my treasure in return. Here. Freaking sun gemstone, dude. Thank you. Don't waste your breath telling me to give it back. I'm keeping this. This will be my new treasure. That's fine. This is much more useful to me anyways than the clay doll. So what? how, how much does it actually do for us? Um, so we've been using Zhao pretty much exclusively. So if we were to put it on the double impact three... Does it, like, increase everything, or... Okay, yeah, it gives 10 to everything here. 3 to everything there. And 10 attack. So, not bad. It is pretty good. Like... And I really wish I had a way to, like, focus... I wish I could change the, the watery to the fighting watery. Like, for a times two slot? Yeah, that would be really good, too. I didn't think about that. Um, So that I could get the freaking, like, metal breakers and the undead thing. Or mage slayer and... I can't remember which two I can't get. I kind of screwed myself by not picking the fighting watery, but I didn't know that was a thing that I needed to do. <laughs> it's like... Oof. 
I'm trying to upgrade Steve to Super Steve, but getting those things is ridiculous. Um, specifically, I still need Thunder, but Thunder's easy to get because I can just buy those. And then I need... The, whatever the undead one's called, whatever the metal one's called, and whatever the mage one is called. Um, now, metal breaker. Um, seems like it can only be gotten through the fish point exchange. Mage slayer is gotten from either fairy king or the fighting watery. Fairy king is obviously not until the end, so that's kind of oof. Um, <laughs> wait, who to bomb for those? Does bombing people give you a better drop rate for attachments? Is that a thing? <laughs> I have no idea. And then the undead busters the same way. I had no idea that was a thing. Hell yeah. Okay, well, if there's anyone I can bomb on the moon area for it, then yes. Um... If not, then I'm not worried about it because I'm not going to grind specifically for Super Steve. Um, at least not on stream. If I get bored and decide to like play Dark Cloud off stream, maybe. But yeah, it's like Super Steve is a secondary goal to beating the game at this point because I feel like I've just been playing it long enough. You know, I need to. <laughs> it's time to move on from from Dark Cloud. I really, really am enjoying the game. It's just, yeah, it's been going, it's been going too much. I did buy everything I needed though, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I think the cannon bugs drop metal. Monday, Friday, fairies and wise out drop mage and all skeletons and divine do undead. I need to like, copy that and just on my desktop I guess new text document can I have it be that long I don't know if there's a name limit okay good <laughs> just <laughs> save that as the name of a text document on the desktop hopefully remember that said I'm not gonna be grinding for mm get thirsty quicker okay not terrible that's fine Zhao, did we put it on the right thing oh, i guess i could have grabbed some bombs since we're gonna be trying to bomb stuff okay i did put it on the right thing we might as well give you something else like extra attack point no reason not to did we equip it? I think I forgot to equip it, though. I did. Okay, equip. Kappa Cow, what's up, man? Oh, you're new. White Fang, huh? Ah, oh, you're not too bad to deal with. Cool design, though. Very different from the other stuff that's been running around here. scared. Repair. We're gonna keep hitting those pads on the ground, hoping for another shuffle. Because all of the, the work we put into getting Steve up to Super Steve has kind of been ruined by the shuffling. Funds increased a little. Okay. Didn't help us at all. So now we gotta, like, pray that we can shuffle it ba back to where it was. <laughs> like, all of our highest attributes now are the ones that we don't need. How streaming has been good, man. I've been enjoying Dark Cloud. Like I mentioned, I am ready for Dark Cloud to be finished, just because I want to move on to, like, playing some other games on stream and whatnot. But I am actually really enjoying the game. I, I enjoy this type of game in general, though, you know? The... The more laid-back dungeon crawler. I guess rogue light, Very light <laughs> rogue type of game. Because, you know, you have a... Not a true hunger system. You do have food, but it's just for health. You do have a thirst system, though. 
um, randomized dungeons, etc. So, like, there are rogue elements to it, and I enjoy that sort of thing. Uh, I'd rather use Ruby for you than... Than Zhao, just because you're annoying to hit. The only problem with Ruby is she's so much slower than Zhao is with her attacks. And, I mean, yeah, the weapon that we currently have for is much weaker, too, but at least I don't have to time all my hits to, to hit the Mimic. And eventually, I would like to level up some of her weapons, too, for different things. These guys, which, as far as I can tell, are just... <laughs> if you're using a range character, they're just... they're nothing. <laughs> you just sit back and just shoot. Like, <laughs> they don't... they don't move, they don't attack. They just constantly face you, and that's it. These things are literally easy mode with a range character. Yes, I agree completely. Or even if, like... I'm always scared saying, like, they should add permadeath to a game. Because I feel like for some people, that would ruin the experience, you know? Me, I'm a big fan of those mechanics, so I think I would enjoy that. But even if roguelite was, like, an option or something... Because otherwise, it's like they would need to add some sort of system to get new characters and... I don't know, something. But I mean, like, other games have pulled it off, of course. There's a bunch of rogue games, a bunch of ta tactics games and things that have done it. So you could certainly do it. Like, a New Game Plus option? Yeah, something like that would be cool. Or even if it was just, like, a difficulty slider, you know? Like, normal mode has no permadeath and maybe you get hungry and thirsty a little bit slower or something. And then hard mode has permadeath and uh, all of your stats decrease quicker or whatever. You could do something like that even, and I think it would be fine. Ah. We be thirsty though, that's fine. Did we get the map yet? I don't think we did. No, we did not. Okay, let's just drink some water then. Nearly quenches thirst. That's fun. Watch us come across a uh, a thing now that we drink some water. A spring, a moon spring. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting to run into one of these. We haven't run into anything other than, well, on Ruby's floor we ran into a, a gemstone that we had to hit. But otherwise, we've only come across your house stuff so far, so... I don't know, I didn't even think... ...that they would spawn. Uh, you're gonna be a mimic, man. At least one of you. Do we have water on this floor? We do not. Wow, neither one of you are mimic. Nice. And some cheese? Thanks for the cheese, game. Are we using? No, okay, we're using the right weapon. <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's something weird about this moon. I'm just saying. There's water on it. There's people on it. Apparently, we can breathe just fine. There must be wind of some sort, like some sort of some sort of air to move around, like. Something weird's going on here, man. Something the man doesn't want us to know about. Big urn, okay. From Digimon World 4. You know, I've never played... I don't think any Digimon games, surprisingly. Like, I watched a little bit of the show growing up. But I don't think I've ever watched... Or, I'm sorry, I don't think I've ever played any of the games... I do want to eventually, and I mean, obviously I'm going to because of stream and whatnot, collecting and playing every game on the PS2. I'm pretty sure there's a couple Digimon games on PS2. 
<laughs> you think only four or six people have. You're not missing out yet. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, very high quality games they are then, huh? Five, four, three, two. And repair. Come on, sword. Thank you. Chest. Oh, freaking mimics to get off me. Thank you. Three, shoot. Ah, oh, you moved. There we go. And we be thirsty again. These floors really know how to get us to go through our water. I guess I should just use a premium. Just fill it all the way up. We know we're going to get thirsty again, so... The other thing we could do, I guess, is run around with a different character for a minute. Since there's no enemies around here anyways. I can't believe it's 9 o'clock already. What floor are we on? We're only on, like, floor 5, too, and then we still... How long is the end of the game, Abstract? Is it like, once we beat this dungeon completely, like clear it, I'm assuming it's the, the dark castle or whatever it's called next, right? After this, is it like a whole nother set of floors that we have to go to through to get to the end? Or is it just like, oh, you bastard. Or is it just like, once you get there, that's the end. You just fight the boss and it's over. I'm kind of hoping, like, once we get there, that's it. But I know, like, you can buy stuff from the Fairy King, right? Last dungeon is pretty long, but a Georama is the quickest to do. Okay, so it does have a Georama as well. Okay, so, yeah, no, I think we're probably going to call it after this dungeon, then. You did it in a sitting? Yeah. So we're probably going to call it after this dungeon, because it is 9 o'clock. And then, hopefully, next week... Because this dungeon's, what, about halfway, roughly? Um, what was I doing? Repairing? Post-game dungeon is the one that breaks me. Oh, there's a post-game dungeon, too? That's actually pretty cool. I, say, I probably won't be doing it on stream, but I do enjoy the game enough that I wouldn't mind playing more of it, just in general. It's a hundred floors? Holy hell. Do you, can you leave it and come back to it like you can all the other dungeons though? 99, but yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. Yes, okay, good, good, good. That sounds fun. <laughs> That's pretty cool, okay. I guess that makes sense why there's like, the weapon upgrades are, are a thing, you know? Cause like, it, it seemed weird to me cause Unless you know what you're doing from the beginning, getting a end game, like a last level weapon, seems like it would be a real pain in the ass. You know what I mean? So like, I guess though, if there's like a whole post game to the game, then it makes a lot more sense that that's a thing. It gives you something to to work toward, a reason to, to keep upgrading your weapons after the main game, etc. You can also do it in one eight-hour push without exiting once. That sounds like a fun challenge to do. <laughs> I don't know if it's the challenge for me, but that sounds like a fun challenge to do. Either need to farm gems from Black Horse or fishing. Yeah, exactly. And, like, getting the back floors isn't always the easiest thing to do either, you know? Like, I've done what, five, six floors of this dungeon so far? And I've gotten one back floor item so far. Now there was, I forget which dungeon it was, I think it was the Wise Out Forest, maybe, where I did get multiple of the, uh, the back floor items, and I didn't know that I was, so I was just like, I don't know what these are for, I'm just gonna sell them off, sort of thing. So kind of like, screwed myself on, on that one. I could have done more back floors early on. 
But like sometimes those items just seem hard to get. Which sucks. I would have loved to have them earlier on. But now that I'm at the end, I'm just like, eh. Okay, yeah. So we have, what, about 10 floors and a boss left on this one. Plus whatever the end game is. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe next week. Maybe next week if I'm feeling better. Because I'm working hard on getting my sleep fixed. <laughs> I'm really trying to. That way I can just stream more in general and be less tired in general. But maybe next week we'll just start a little bit early instead of waiting until like my usual 5.30, 6 o'clock. And then we can do a push to try and actually finish the game next week. I'm not super opposed to that. Sleep is always most important. I agree. It's just uh, using a weapon reduces ABS. Kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, what's your ABS currently sitting at? Oh man, it's so close. Well, now that we know that's a thing, I'm tempted to like leave and come back with the bandit slingshot. Can we load from here? I mean, we could leave the dungeon, use escape powder. That's an option, I guess, instead of resetting the game. But I did just save. Yeah, screw it. Just reset the game real quick. I'm assuming the floors are always the same. Like, it's always going to be a that kind of floor. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, I do agree. Sleep is, is definitely important. It's just like, I wish I wasn't feeling the need to sleep whenever I want to stream. <laughs> Basically, I want to sleep at night night like my normal bedtime that i've had for years and years and years and not <sighs> whatever <laughs> and then i want to just not be exhausted during the day that would be nice too you just hot swap ah <laughs> oh, i didn't think of that i knew you could hot swap um I, I knew that that mechanic existed. I think it's unintentional, but I did know that mechanic existed because I've used that... I've hot-swapped weapons on not that kind of floor, but hot-swapped weapons to level up uh, really weak things using Steve before. And then I was curious if we could hot-swap characters and the ABS would carry over. Um, but it didn't. And uh, so... But I never put two and two together that, like, yeah... On those floors where it loses you ABS, you could just hot swap characters and negate the whole thing. Never crossed my mind, but now that I know that, or now that you mention it, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so Zhao's the only one I'm really worried about. So we'll equip you. Go into customize here. Take this off. And then apply it to the bandit slingshot. It's gonna make... You don't have like a times two slot or anything right now, okay. It's going to make the whole floor take a little bit longer because it's just a weaker one in general, but still. All right. Um, not here. Started doing it recently because you never remember to finish a weapon before those floors. Yeah. Yeah. I just never know when those floors are coming up. Usually I just deal with it because I'm like, I don't have the attachments to upgrade things quickly anyways. Um, so it's like whatever you know if i have to spend more time getting its abs back to max that just means i get more time to collect more thunder gems or metal breakers or mage slayers or whatever but it's getting to the point with some items that are some weapons that like it takes a long time to level them up completely so i'd rather not make their abs go back down to zero And then have to start over again. I do have like one level up powder, but I'd rather not use that too if I can help it. If I can help it. Switch to Zhao. One second.
All right. Uh, I did equip it. Please tell me I equipped it. Okay, good. <laughs> I would have been so mad if I didn't. Uh, I don't have any bombs on me, right? I don't think I remember to bring bombs. Or, yeah, because I put them all in the, like, storage and then... So usually I save bombs for bosses because I didn't know that was a thing. And, okay. Repair. It's amazing how much, like, 20 attack points can change the amount of damage you do. Like, Steve does so much more damage at 60 than the bandit does at 40. Oh, speaking of, though, there's a bomb. I forgot that the Moonbugs drop bombs. Um, is one more hit going to kill you? I don't know if it will or not. Here, let's just... Mm, food. I don't usually need the food. Oh, shoot. Uh, whatever. Dran's feather. Get rid of that for now. No. Get rid of the repair powder. The auto repair powder. It's fine. Ow, that was rude. Oh, hi. I don't know what you are, but you're kind of scary looking. Go away! <laughs> what are you doing here? Move! Oh, okay. Well... It didn't drop for us, sadly. Oh well, we tried. Oh, you have a shield too? You're annoying, Mr. Vulcan. I need to put the Drans thing back on before it gets like, you know. Or not the Drans thing, the auto repair before I fuck up and have it die. I say as I like instantly forget to put it back on. Where'd it go though? There it is. Of course they would like introduce new stronger enemies on the same floor where we're stuck with whatever weapon we have. You had a shield up? It didn't look like you had a shield up. Bro, put your shield down. Oh my God, you're annoying. I hate everything right now. This was supposed to be a quick floor, Mr. Vulcan. God, the Vulcans, they suck. I hate them so much. They need to die. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. Freaking shields, man. We need, like, piercing. I don't know if piercing is a thing that you can get on a weapon, but my god, do we need it. Also, we're taking damage from water, I just realized. We've been thirsty a while, huh? And da, 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 repair powder. And do we have bread? We don't. So cheese it is. Thank God. Okay, I think it's like pointless to try and shoot them twice in a row. Yeah, like, it never freaking works. Shoot once. Oh, well, if they're charging us, I guess we can. Yeah, shield goes up, like, instantly. I really hope there's not too many of these things running around. One more. There we go. Get freaking wrecked. Uh, I don't feel like doing a back area right now. Primitive form of input reading? Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if the game cheats a bit. Would not be surprised at all. Uh, you have health to spare. I'm not going to worry about your water. I'm going to just hope that we come across some water on the map somewhere. Not that we're particularly hurting for money or anything, but like, why use it if we don't need to at the same time? Oh, another Drans Feather, nice.
Oh, there's the cannon. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I was trying to do. Uh, another Vulcan. Sucks that, like, even when the shield's not actually in front of him, it still works. It'd be nice if it just, well, didn't. <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay. I honestly didn't realize his shield was up at that point. I thought he was like getting ready to do a charge or something. Try walking towards while you shoot. Ah, uh, maybe. It does let us get at least two shots off doing that. That's something, right? <laughs> it's better than where we were at. A way to stop range kiting, maybe? Possibly? It seems like walking toward at least helped. Yeah, no, it does seem to actually work. I mean, I guess it's nice that they don't completely prevent you from being safe with ranged on them. Like, it just makes it slower, I guess, like, give credit where credit's due. But I would still- oh, there's a digger too. Oh, <laughs> I hate the diggers. Come on, okay. Good, I'd rather kill it first than honestly. Their attacks are just brutal. I forgot they dropped potato cakes. Like, we had just discovered that. That's good money. And I know potato cakes are more useful for fishing, but, like, for me, it's just an excellent source of cash because I still haven't gone back and tried to mess with the fishing at all. If I planned on doing, like, the post-game content right now, um, then I'd be all for it, I think. But when I tried it early on in the game, it was just too freaking slow for me to want to deal with. Normally in games, I do really like fishing, but yeah, it was just... Ooh, don't get hit. Okay. It just took way too long for me to want to do it in this game. Um, yes, yeah, replace the auto repair powder again. Mm -hmm. Metal breaker! Look at that, dude. Nice, okay. Um, I guess you. Give you another metal breaker. So that's two things for you there. Fishing is all about how fast you can reset and check the fish in the pond. I remember you mentioned before, like, you can kind of tell which fish you're going to get if you look. Um, like, based off of the size of the shadow. Ex the, the, I'm pretty sure you mentioned there was something else, too, that you could use to kind of know what you were going to get. And then, of course, like, the area that you're in and whatnot. But, like, I didn't even get a proper bite when I was trying to fish was my problem, you know? Like, uh, nothing, I didn't catch a single fish. <laughs> Granted, I think we only tried for 20 minutes, a half hour or something like that, and I really didn't know what I was doing, but, um, but yeah, <laughs> like, it was just too slow for me to want to try to keep doing it, so I just, I gave up on it early on. Yeah, that is actually really nice. If, if I decide to do the back rooms at all, that's, like, necessary. Okay, two mole people. If we just don't get close, we should be fine. Just stand back and shoot. Four, three, two, repair. Oop, not standing powder. Uh, equip this again. In case we forget to repair at some point. There we go. More potato cakes. Or 
the other one go? And there he is. And Bandit's so good. Zhao really is, like, the best character, dude. I mean, I know, like, Goro can get the money enchantment on his weapons, which maybe would be useful. I don't know. I've never really spent any time with it because I don't like playing as him that much. But, like, the ability to steal stuff is just so freaking handy. Literally carry the speed around. I'm not surprised to hear that at all, honestly. Like, because like, I don't know how much money you get from Goro's thing is his special ability. The... I forget what it's called. Um, but what I do know is that potato cakes sell for a lot of money. So if you need money, to me, it seems to make more sense to just grind against creatures like this that you can just steal potato cakes from or whatever fishing material, etc. That that's worth a lot of gold and then just sell them. Obviously... I have no idea what I'm talking about. It could be much, much faster to do it the other way, but if I were to grind for money, this is the way I would do it. Knowing what little I know of the game. <laughs> it is the main way? Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not terribly surprised to hear that either. Like it seemed most efficient to me. I just haven't spent any time with Goro to know if maybe that was actually the better one. I'm stuck. Help. Oh, good. And there's a bug shooting at us, too. Yeah. Carry 33k and then get your funds of increase. Nice. Is there a way to know, like, ahead of time what those are going to do? Or do you have to just, like, get lucky with it? I really don't like the mix of these two. Because you have, like, the fast bug... That's super annoying. And then this dude with his freaking shield. Walking toward him definitely does work much, much better, though. 100%. You were right about that. Repair. Bomb? I don't know... Okay, that should be close enough for a bomb to kill you in one hit. Oop. Metal Breaker! Dude, that is so good! I'm mad that I didn't know about that earlier. That's that's awesome. Uh, double impact. Customize, take the attack off. Throw on Metal Breaker. That's sick, okay. So that's ready to upgrade now once we get the last little bit of ABS on it. And then does the bandit slingshot have anything good? No. Well, I mean the sun gem, but I don't plan on actually putting that into a weapon anytime soon. It's just kind of there for the time being. We need water again. And replace the auto repair. Too bad you can't, like, steal from the same enemy, like, multiple times. Sorry, tight corridor with this thing rolling around. I'm actually kind of paying attention. I mean, they don't do a ton of damage. Okay, that's... First, let's heal, because I don't want to die. Uh, okay, heal... And then, bomb, you're definitely close enough to die to a bomb. Oh my god, just, just throw the thing. <gasps> we killed ourselves! <laughs> I'm stupid! Okay, you stand in powder. It's fine. Did we get, and it wasn't even a thing. I forgot that bombs do damage to us too. 
No, but yes, the game basically has everything set into three randomized loot pools. So you may see one more often, but you can't predict it. Okay, okay. Um, do we need Zhao back? How many enemies do we have? We have a moon bug. I mean, technically, we don't have to kill these things. I think we did get the... We did get the uh, thing, right? Is there any benefit to killing all of the creatures on a floor besides just, you know, the extra experience for killing everything? Nope, okay. I didn't think there was, but I always thought maybe. But I guess I do have to kill these ones because I don't have the gunpowder. You get a leaf for free, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, true, <laughs> I can't argue with that. All right, I guess we're using revival powder. So I don't really feel like fighting these things with anything else, honestly. That's true. That's very true, yeah. We might get two more Metal Breakers. Plus, again, I kind of have to fight these guys anyways, because we still don't have the, the gunpowder that we need to leave regardless. Uh, that should be more than close enough. Now, remember to take a step back before we freaking throw the bomb. <gasps> Bastard. No, run away, run away. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like this, Mr. Krabs. Oh, dope. It killed both of them. <laughs> okay. I didn't I didn't expect it to kill both of them, but <laughs> Perfect. And we did get another metal breaker, so let's go ahead and give that to the to the uh the bandit slingshot here. Sick. Oh, all right. Now let's get the hell off this floor, shall we? <laughs> I want to run away. Um, this way. Uh, gunpowder. The only thing next week, whenever we do get on again, I need to remember to buy a bunch of repair powder. Again, sell off all of the, the junk in my inventory that I don't need. And then that's pretty much it. We should be good to go after that, I think. I think. But all right, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Abstract, thank you for all of your advice and your help and answering all of my questions and things, man. It does help a ton, especially in games like this that I'm not only inexperienced in, but just has... A My memory card aired out for some reason. I use a fancy, uh, it's called a Mem Card Pro 2. It's uh, like one memory card that acts as a million memory cards. But every once in a while, it's rare, but every once in a while it just dies for some reason. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. I guess it just needed to, like a second to load. It looks like there's some sort of error on the screen over there, but it's supposed to have this automatic Google Drive backup for all of your save games and stuff, which is really cool. But I'm assuming there's something else you need to do because I've noticed sometimes that it'll just like say error uploading to cloud. So that is probably what the error was. Anyway, we got way off track. Thank you guys. Thank you again, Abstract. Thank you everybody else for coming and hanging out. Um, I really appreciate you all. I will be back hopefully tomorrow night to play Baldur's Gate with my brother, Baldur's Gate 2, as we slowly work through that game. It's been a couple of weeks since we played that too. Me and him both just had different things going on and then personally my sleep thing. Um, and fingers crossed that kind of the stream schedule for the rest of the week happens as it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, be kind to each other, y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Is something I need to be concerned about? Or did, like, the cat just knock something over? <laughs> like a noise outside? Like, outside... Our house. Again, is it a noise I need to be concerned about, or is it something we I can just ignore? Tell me a noise outside doesn't tell me much, love. Like, is it just a loud-ass car or something, or is somebody breaking into the house? Like... <laughs>
You gotta be just a tiny bit more specific, love. You thought it was thunder, but you don't think it was. Okay, well, I'm sure it's fine. There's also a lot of people setting off, like, fireworks and whatnot this time of year, so... It's probably nothing. I hear we bastard somewhere. Before we get into a fight again, though, let's drink, like, a uh, healing potion or something, man. Store health. So that's standard. Don't we have, like, shitty store health? Cheaper store health, yeah. Take, uh, I don't know. 